Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me, as always, is my co-host, that's Nick Mason. Hell yeah! What, are you saying hell yeah because of the Australian Podcasting Awards, or honestly, yet again, Mason? Sure, why not? That's yeah, That's okay. right, everybody. That's brought me the energy I need. Now, four years ago... To win a thing out of spite. That's, that's right. That's the only thing that brings me any energy now. 2018, we won the most popular choice at the Australian Podcasting Awards. We won was, the most popular choice? That's right. Because we made a choice. Because we made a choice. Yeah, yeah. They, they're it, like, do you want chicken or fish? And we're like, mm, chicken? And they're like, you've won. Mm. That's the most popular choice. If there's two choices and it's chicken or fish, yes. the, fi- the fish isn't going to – well, they're not, neither are going to be good. <laughs> but, it's like, but it's fish. So okay. that's like, you know, ugh, you know? Like, like airplane fish. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. You know what I mean? What about wedding fish? Wedding fish is different. That's a different scenario, Mason. Mm. I'm happy to talk about that all day. But we have to But a lot of the time you don't get to choose if you're a wedding. They just it's go chicken you fish, sit. chicken fish or whatever. And then I swap with my wife. Whatever <laughs> she gets, she wants the other thing. That's, that's right. right, Mason. So you, And then you have to eat it over <laughs> a sink, <laughs> even though you're at a wedding. That's right. <laughs> so... So a few years ago, mm-hmm. um, we didn't get nominated for any of the things that we put up for. Okay. So we're like, fine, we'll brute force this and we'll win the Popular Choice Award. Uh-huh. And shockingly, we did. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Mason and I didn't go to the awards and Claire accepted it. And it was very weird because people were like, we don't know what this is yeah. and why did it win? Yeah. Anyways, we want to do that again. She, I, she isn't a duo of single gals <laughs> in the city. No, exactly. So I didn't know that you couldn't win it twice. Uh-huh. And then I'd found out that you can win it twice. So if people would be so kind as to vote below. We're going to do the same thing again, as in not go and then try, <laughs> and try and win it. And then people go, what is this? Yeah, sure. And they never know. That's right. Yeah. I think this time we should, we should um, if we win, when we win. If. But yeah. if, if we're, we're, we're hoping people will. Uh, will well, the they'll... podcast industry is growing in Australia, Mason. So, you know, I that's don't know. True. It's going to so, be so, so we tough, have... tougher. Than, people are going to have to vote harder than ever, Mason. That's, oh, that's very true. Because, I mean, you know, we have roughly the same number of listeners and everybody else has more. So That's right. But we have, we, we're hoping that our listeners are as spiteful as we are. Yeah. Yeah. But I think. I like to think they yeah, are. I think when we win this year, we bring up. We'll do those segues with iPads on them. <laughs> they can roll and we have our faces. Whatever they come and they just fall over each other. <laughs> oh, how about this? No, how about this? Uh, segues with iPads. Two segues with iPads and they come up, but we're not on the screens. It's somebody else. It's two guys who are like, oh, they couldn't make it. They're busy. <laughs> so they got us. <laughs> that would be incredible. So, uh, yeah, it's links below if you'd like to help us out. You can be anywhere in the world, by the way. You don't have to be Australian. And that's, that's the beauty of it. You know, mm-hmm. That's the beauty of it. That's right. popularity, and that's voting, and that's democracy. It is. And I would never stop that from happening. But Mason. <laughs> that makes me think you would, like that a statement like no, that. Mason, I said never. Mm-hmm. If I said maybe, then maybe I could see why you would think that, but yeah, I didn't. I said right. never. And he winked yeah. too. I didn't wink. Mm. I didn't wink, Mason. So here's the news of the week. I love it. These are the topics we're going to be going through. Colin, who edits this, he puts the time codes below if you want to jump to anything in particular. I mean, if you're going to jump to anything, jump to that voting link and vote. Yeah, of course, absolutely. But uh, so we're going to talk about how Tarantino was asked about working on a comic book movie. You know how they do that? They do a tour and then press tour and then they ask directors if you work at a Marvel movie yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah, obviously yeah. not. Exactly. Uh, we're going to talk about Sandman Season 2. Ooh. Big cancellations, including, oh, no. including Westworld, Mason. Oh, no. R.I.P. And some others as well. There's some other things going on. Trailers ahoy for Avatar 2, The Way of Water. Marvel casting, including Wonder Man. Mm. There's Marvel game news and things. Great. Uh, I want to talk about the... Our segment, Marvel games news and things. That's right. And I want to talk about also the Russo brothers are producing... Um, A Russo Her- producer? The Hercules film. And they said that thing this Our week segment, about it. Russo producer? The Russo producer, thank you. Yeah, okay, great. yeah they had some stuff to say this week, didn't Why they? did they? Uh, <laughs> a lot of word salad. I don't know what was going on yeah, there. That's good. I like that. And then we got uh, some release dates for some upcoming series of things. And then more Warner Brothers news, Mason. Oh. Big franchises coming our way. Whoa. I might have one bit of news relating to that. Actually. I'd love to hear that. Yeah. Uh, and, and then, of course, um, we thought, what are we going to talk about this week? And then we thought, let's talk about Don't Worry, Darling. <laughs> let's do that. Why because not? boy, is it. You yeah. Know? It's really it's something. something. It? Yeah. Well, what we figured we'd do ultimately is we're like, you know what, we're, we're so close to the summit, let's do a clean sweep of all the movies Warner Brothers released this year. <laughs> that's right, exactly. And now we have. We've done Black Adam and, and this, this movie. Yeah, that's it. That well was, done. That was Warner my Brothers. opening note, that Mason. cannot be true, though. I, I looked at the list. I think it's maybe after the takeover. Right, okay. But sure, also, sure. like, Warner Brothers have their name on things that they don't strictly distribute. 
Right. Okay. So, and I because this again is a new line cinema production. Yeah. So. so there are other things that they're kind of associated with, but didn't come like directly. They weren't like the main yeah, production right, right. house. But yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. This is by the LA Times. Tar- Tarantino was asked uh, if he would work on a comic book movie, and we're talking Marvel or DC, Mason or Image or Bloodshot sure. or whatever. He would go. He would go for like Eclipse Comics or something. Do you like think that. he'd do a Bloodshot movie? Yeah. Mm. Are we getting Bloodshot sequel? No. Two Bloodshots? No. Is this two Bloodshot? <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah. Yes, James. <laughs> is this look? Look at my eye. Yeah. Is that two, two Bloodshot? Look? Come on. Yeah. So he said you have to be a hired hand to do those things. I'm not a hired hand. Uh, I'm not looking for a job. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, he was going to do Star about Trek. Feet and I'm not going to. Okay, you know, sure. You know, et cetera. Uh-huh. But um, yeah, he was going to do Star Trek, yeah. but they wouldn't let but him. But then do maybe Star he Trek. realized he wasn't a hired hand. That's he, right. And yeah. He, uh, he torpedoed that. Pro- he photon torpedoed that project. He was talking about doing a. He photon torpedoed that project. Laser, he tasered it and he said. You've been tasered. They don't the, have lasers. You've been or tasered, tasered by the Borg. No, said. no, they don't have lasers or tasers, James. <laughs> they have phases. They said, "Look out!" And sometimes disruptors. Yeah, yeah. They said, "Look out, Jean Luc Shatner. You're getting tasered <gasps> by the Borg." Oh, he's doing so. Many... And then Gandalf said, "Oh no, you're the one, Neo." <laughs> what do you think, Mason? Damn, <laughs> what you just suggested was epic bacon. <laughs> just then, I have to, I have to give you credit there. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, he also went. I'm protesting you catchphrase. That's epic, baby. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. So spooky movies was last week. And yeah, yeah. It's not you. Halloween anymore. Okay, that's so. a good point. Yeah, yeah. It's not the spookiest time of the year. I'll take some little tricks off. Mason. It's yep. nearly the 5th of November. Yeah. And what are we going to do to celebrate the 5th of November on the YouTube channel? Uh, we're going to talk about V for Vendetta, but not for a couple no, of weeks. No, we're doing Alex G. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what's, that's what's a happening. a couple of weeks, maybe. Also, it looked as if I think I'm going to move Caravan of Garbage to... Th- Thursday. What, permanently? Yeah, probably permanently. Why? What it's, are you doing on Wednesdays? Nothing. It's, well, it's Tuesday normally. It comes what are you out. doing Thanks on Tuesdays? Noticing. Thanks for noticing. Well, it just makes it easier for the you know for the editors as well. Sure, 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 sure. It's like if it's earlier in the week, then it kind of crunch, crushes your weekend yeah. as well. And I want to also give it more time for people at Big Sandwich and Patreon and that. So Very true. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know whether mm. that's going to happen yet. What are you going to do on Tuesdays? Farting competition? Yeah, I'll do a big With fart your wife? Yes, Mason, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you did that already. Yeah, so. yeah, but uh, now I've got more time. Yeah. Anyway, he was asked about Star Wars. If anything, I think you maybe should move that to Thursday. No. To give you more Hold eating. in more farts. Yes. That's not a bad idea, actually. <laughs> it's interesting. You've got to rethink this. We'll cut, we'll cut all this out. <laughs> you rethink it. You rethink it, we'll come back. All right, all right. So he said, of course, I like Star Wars. What's not to like? But I remember, and this is not a but in a negative way, but in a good way. The movie completely carried me along and I was rocking and rolling with all these characters. When the lights came on, I felt like a million dollars. And I looked around and had this moment of recognition thinking, wow, what a time at the movies. Now, that's not necessarily my favorite exact type of film, he continues. At the end of the day, I'm more of a close encounters guy. Is he talking about original Star Wars? Yeah, originally. He was like 13 when it came out. What did he say? What was the exact quote at the end? Wow, what a movie. What a time at the movies. Wow, what a time at the movies. What a time at the movies. Epic bacon, he said. Wow. But he's more of a. That was the epic bacon of its time. Definitely, Mason. He says he's more of a Close Encounters guy, so, yeah. You know that one where the guy leaves his family to look at a mountain or whatever? Yeah, vaguely, sure, yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you remember? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I think, you know, again, that's just like directors have to answer those questions whenever they're doing anything. That's true, yeah. It's, like, it's inescapable. A, you're going to do a Marvel movie? And there's two types of directors. There's, there's scumbags, work for hire, who <laughs> right. will do it. And, exactly. And Tarantino. Right. Yeah. I think there is like a – there are different levels of – Mar- uh, Marvel and DC directors, you know, yeah, ones so. who are—I wouldn't even say who have vision. I would say ones who are allowed mm. to 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 bring in a certain vision, to bring and, in some of their signature touches, and some that are not. What happens is they they go for a meeting with Marvel, and a Marvel intern shows up, and they have a clipboard, and they're like, "Here, are, we've compiled all your signature touches in your movies, yeah, and you can select three, yeah." Also, we already filmed them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The three that we have selected. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> also, you fired. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess I feel like Ryan Coogler was, you know, he's, it seems as if he's had a bit more freedom. We'll talk about Black Panther 2 next week, that's but right. I'm hoping that that's, uh, I, hope it, I hope it's good. I also hope it's good. We'll find out. I don't want any movies to be bad. I want some movies to be bad, Mason. Give so me an make example of one movie. We'll make, think of a movie? Yeah. Never. Mason. <laughs> uh, Citizen Kane, I thought of a movie. <laughs> Very good. I wish you were bad, but it's a classic of the genre. It's true. Before we do cancellation news, let's do renewal news. Okay. It's the Sandman on Netflix or Sandman. 
whatever it's called, which we both enjoyed season one and then that right. bonus episode about cats and I whatever. I still haven't watched the bonus episode about it's cats, good, but it's okay. I was yeah. living in fear that me not watching the bonus episode with the cats would result in this show oh, being cancelled. Imagine canceled. if it did. Imagine if you got an email or they right. made a statement. You are We've personally been waiting responsible. on Nick Mason. And we've CC'd Neil Gaiman in this as well. He's seeing it. You're He's mad. He's mad. Do you know I once, well, not me directly, but why house team at school lost a swimming carnival and the and I was and winning. Neil Gaiman was yeah, there? Yeah, no, no, and I was winning the race and then I, I lost it. Wow. And we lost by that many points. And I'm like, huh, I did that. <laughs> sure. I mean, not just me, but I was like, huh, yeah, quite yeah. have, but yeah. If you'd have tried. I wish the blue team won, I said. Wow. But we did, yeah. Okay. Anyways. Um, Interesting, blue team. Doxing yourself there. Yeah. Now everybody myself. knows you're on the Well, they had, a, they had a name. It was like a saint or a person who got murdered by a, by an, I don't know what. It was Saint Blue Team, that Halo guy <laughs> yeah. from that web series. Exactly. So uh, Neil Gaiman says, it's unbelievable. Sorry, it gives me unbelievable pleasure to say that working, on, uh, working with Netflix and Warner Brothers, Alan Heinberg, David Goyer, and I will be bringing even more of the Sandman stories to life. Uh, this is two seasons and done. I am shocked that this is happening. Oh, is he saying? Is no, he saying there? I am saying that it will be two th- seasons and done. I don't yeah, know. sure, sure. Yeah. Do you think they have factored in that it's going to be two seasons and done? Like there? Yeah, I th- think yeah. if they took this long to renew it, they were really umming and ahhing about mm. it. And unless it gets like a significant boost in the second season, yeah, um, which would be great because mm. I really enjoyed it. Well, it's not going to because everybody's too busy watching Red Notice. So. Well, that's their own fault, isn't it? Why yeah. did they release such an epic bacon movie? Right. That is the epic bacon of movies, though, isn't it? So epic bacon. <laughs> When you think about it, all the quips, yep. sexy ladies, yep. the rock is there in a, in, a, in a big tuxedo, but he makes it look like a little tuxedo. Incredible. Mm. There's a fine art to that, isn't there? Because it could be boxy. That's true, yeah. It could be a big boxy suit, yeah, but yeah. it's tailored yeah. specifically for him. That's correct, yes. Mm. So I guess I, I met Neil Gaiman. And? Very well, nice. Well, he used to live in Melbourne, didn't he? Or in Australia? Or he does You're still? You're thinking of Ross Noble. <laughs> no, I don't. No, Neil Gaiman did live in Australia okay. for a time. I'm pretty sure. Interesting. I don't, maybe he doesn't he, now. He came, to, he came to the city library in Melbourne with his wife at the time. Yeah. Uh, and they, like, told stories and played music and stuff. And you happened to be there or you went there in particular to see him? Well, I wasn't. I didn't happen to be in the library, James. I'm not a nerd. <laughs> but I think I happened to be in the city and, and Twitter was like, Neil Gaiman's and whatever. And I'm like, I'll, I'll see. I'll check that I'll out. go to the library. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've forgotten her name. What's her name again? She I'm, sucks. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, she was in the up. Dresden Dolls. Amanda Palmer. Okay, right. Yeah. Why does she suck specifically? Oh, a bunch of reasons. Don't Google it. Or, or do Google it. All right. I think they're still married. <laughs> they're not still married. So spouse Amanda Palmer 2011. And that, it doesn't they sound They got divorced. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank God. For, One of them think. learned about it on social media, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning about it now. Mm-hmm. But in cancellation news, Mason. Go on. Anyway, that's probably two years away. I would say at the very least. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Unless he's been secretly working on it. Mm. Then it'd be it's still two years away. Yeah. But uh, Westworld has been cancelled after four seasons. Apparently this, this is due to heavy cost, dwindling viewers, and, of course, WB are doing a bit of a shake-up as we speak. And, right of course, now. you stopped saying Westworld yeah. later on in the episodes when we do the, the what we read. You know what's lucky about that? What's what that? I was going to do when the season finished, I, I was going to start it up again wow. and then be like, now I'm going to say Westworld until Westworld comes back. <laughs> My goodness. And that would have been forever. That nonsensical thing you do yeah. that no one understands. Yeah. Okay, great. You so were just going to do it. I was just going to do it. Wow. Maybe I'll do one more today, you know, for all time's time sake. sake. Yeah. Or maybe you could start doing it until they re-renew <laughs> Westworld. I don't like committing myself to anything, Mason. Mm, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Now, now you've, you've, you are caught up with Westworld. 100%. I, I finished at season three and I'm like, I'll definitely get to season four. Uh, would you say that, without any spoilers, would you say that season four gave us a satisfying conclusion to the Westworld saga? I will say that I can't really remember how it ended. Terrific. But I did enjoy it. Okay. I, th- I thought four was better than three. Okay. And I it did, it did some interesting things. And yeah, three was a bit of a filler season. Yeah. Yeah. But I also liked the way that three jumped ahead and we got to see like, I didn't hate three at all. Mm. But season one apparently, this is via THR, cost $100 million and that was in 2016. Okay. But the viewers of this show shrunk from $12 million to $4 million. It was prestige television it's for prestige a time, prestige television Mason. for a time, yeah. Yeah. I think and I I liked I think I've liked all the seasons I saw. Yeah. But I completely understand that there would have been people who were like, oh, we're getting a robot revolution at the end of season. Season two is gonna be just, you know, Wild West but robots killing everyone. And yeah. we just didn't get that. No, not not and, so much. Uh, and uh, I understand why people are like, oh well, I'm not gonna watch if I don't get that. 
Yeah, they, they got the the fourth season got very meta. At one point, they went into the Northland. New, they went to Northland shopping, shopping, shopping center. center. Now they went to um, where was we've it? escaped Westworld. <laughs> We're in Northland now. Let's go to the Donut King. <laughs> Do they have a Donut King? Yes, still? great. <laughs> I went to record, do they? I went to record some stuff at Sands Pants, and oh, they're, okay. they're yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, way. I should. We should say where they live, where they all live, not I just where people, they're located. Can, yeah, right. Oh, where they where all, they all live. individually yeah. live in the studio. <laughs> yeah, they all, all live in the, the studio, studio in Bugbeds. Yeah. yeah, but um, what was I going to say? It, it got meta. I got meta. So there was a moment which I quite liked, is where they they were in Westworld, and they're like, oh, now we're underground at the new Westworld, and it was like 1930s world or whatever. I can't remember okay. specifically. And then so they went under, underground, and they're like, oh, we're in we're, we're in we're, recession we're world. In, you know, we're, we're the, in the Great Depression. No, no, land. Yeah, exactly. But you know how they go underneath and all the repairing robots yeah, yeah, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. But that was it, it itself was a Westworld of the of the Westworld Revolution. So they Westworlded oh. the Westworld Revolution. Within. Oh, Does so, that make so sense? if you wanted to, you could go go on a holiday to like the technical aspects of a fake Westworld. Yeah, huh. and then experience robot revolution, but in a, oh. West, in a Westworld. I should watch that show. Yeah, it's I mean, it's good. too late now. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth doing it. But again, did, did you definitively say satisfying conclusion? I liked it. I've always okay, liked right. it, so I, I can't complain. But I still think the first two seasons, in particular okay. first, was the best. But and now, I thought Aaron Paul was a really good addition mm. and they did some interesting stuff with his characters. But did also, you know, James? Well, maybe. This is not one bit of news. I'll tell you whether I know it, though. But did you know this? Did you know he cha- He just changed his name to Aaron Paul? His, that Aaron Paul's not his real name. It's his real name. But he changed his name legally to Aaron Paul like a couple of days ago. What was his real name? Sturtevolt. Sturtevolt Paul or just Sturtevolt? It's Sturter space Vault. Aaron Sturtevolt. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go. Pretty fun, That's right? That's a pretty bold move to pick such a generic name. As a man right? with a generic yeah, name, yeah. I appreciate that. And it's that, very but... close to Adrian Paul, star of the Highland of the series. Oh, yeah. Do you think Maybe that's, that's what he was going probably for? Probably in honour of him, yeah. Or or to like to wipe him out of any kind of Google SEO searches. I think so, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, but speaking of the cast, Deadline said that the core cast of Westworld will be paid for season five regardless of the this, of this series being cancelled. Sick. Yeah, the core cast had a pay or play deal. Nice. For You're- season five. And if I recall correctly, Mason. Go on. And this might have all been lost in the WB shakeup, but we were part of this core cast for season five. I think we? so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. if. Um, we were going to get that pay bump, we were going to yeah, get health insurance. Exactly. You know? Yeah, so if somebody uh, over there could just look into that. No, no, don't look into it. It's too. Sorry, I just, just sort of. Just cut us out. a check. Yeah. <laughs> just cut us two checks. Two different checks. Two different checks. Yeah, we don't want one check. We Because yeah, yeah. we'll just fight over it and we'll tear it. We'll then tear it and then it'll all fall down a drain. <laughs> <laughs> and then not, neither of us will get to the big money. But yeah, no, if you could, that would be great. That really would be. So there you go. We were gonna be I was gonna be um I was gonna be piano player where the piano like drops on my hands and my hands come off and I'm like, ah Oh yeah. And blood spraying out of my stumps on my hands. And I was a cow. But a robot cow. <laughs> nice. Like the back half is a robot. You're like yeah. normal cow, no robot cow. Wow. Well, yeah. Cool cast though, obviously. That's true, yes. So Deadline have also reported that Stargirl is cancelled after three seasons. I can see that, yeah. Now, this is why producer Brad Schwartz, who is now leading things over at CW or Warner Brothers or whatever division of this is involved in, he said it was an exceptionally successful company under the old business model. Uh, Uh, CBS and Warner Brothers made a lot of money on the shows. They got to make shows like Gossip Girl to Vampire Diaries, Riverdale and and The Flash that broke through in culture. There was a business model there that worked and now it's a different business model. It is a different business model. And that's, that's all right. That's, that's, Mm. there's always a different business model. Yeah. yeah. There's always a different business model. And unfortunately the cast of Stargirl were all under a, we are going to take all your money back. If, uh, what? If, yeah, if, if if the show is cancelled, so they have to give back all the money they got paid for the previous seasons. It's crazy the, yeah, the yeah. deals that they make. Stars that's right, with interest days. too. With interest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's the price of Hollywood. Baby. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't have got into Hollywood as like a bunch of young, bright-eyed stars. It's their own gonna, fault. It's their own fault. Come on. Yeah, you know. And they said it's a better deal than the old Hollywood stars got. You know what I mean? Yeah, they put you on meth and stick you in a cub until they wheeled you out for a movie or whatever. That's right. Yeah. So now we need to run a broadcast network that is profitable. So it's going to take a bit of reinvention, rethinking, and creating a brand and content that brings in a lot of audiences that works for the stations and that can be monetized properly. CW has a strong brand, but some of the shows aren't very profitable. 
Uh, people are also saying that Superman and Lois is probably going to be cancelled. Okay. I think that's the last one that now. That statement felt like very passive aggressive, like he put in as many buzzwords as possible. Yeah. There is like profitable content. It was content. like it was good at one point, but now it's not profitable or content mm. or monetized or that's CW. Right. So I think what they're probably doing here is doing the James Gunn stuff and that will all be like Peacemaker mm. linked universe series, except for the Penguin which is yeah. its own series. And hey, well, speaking of James Gunn. I know James here's Gunn. Here's one bit of news. This is from FandomWire.com. So mm-hmm. how know, who knows how accurate this is? Pretty good, I think. James Gunn reportedly clashing with Dwayne Johnson. Whoa. The Rock apparently wants more DCU focus on Black Adam than Henry Cavill's Superman. What do you think about that, James? If that's true, uh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't think I don't want it either. I don't, I don't want that at all. The movie, yeah. it seems, is not... Black Adam, it seems, probably won't be released in China, which is bad for box office. Mm. And the it, it appears as if the movies, like the the longevity of Black Adam, has dropped off significantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's not a train wreck. Like it, it'll probably at least make even and a little bit more break even. Sorry, but then we're kind of forever's out this week and. Black Adam's done. Like it's yeah, you know, for it's sure. Done. So it's doing doing okay. Might do some streaming numbers or whatever, but. Yeah, okay. Also, who knows if that's – I mean, that, wasn't that phase one of the DCEU? Didn't The Rock say – with the movie or it was the start of? Yeah, it's the start of the DCU. No, DC. he didn't say that because Rock, The Rock was saying DCEU. Yeah, oh, I see. Oh, my so was that God, the I start don't... and the end of the <laughs> DCEU? <laughs> Maybe is, it was. Is. Maybe they're uh, maybe they're doing two different tracks now. Maybe maybe we're, we're getting a Rock universe and a, and a James Gunn universe. I don't even think there's – is there a fan base that – like if these two things go head to head, and who knows whether this is true? I think I think is anybody going to back the Rock? I think this is made up this? because, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because I think they've decided to manufacture the narrative of a classic jocks versus nerds oh, situation. Because look at this, yeah, that's... James Gunn, nerd yep. glasses. The Rock doesn't need glasses. You know why? Eye push ups <laughs> every day. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That sounds horrible. But apparently they're clashing. Uh, Dwayne Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He wanted a Justice Society of America versus Justice League project. Or Black Adam versus the Justice League. Who's in the Justice Society? The now, you really said, you've guy. said that before, but I think they, I think the, they, I think they draw from a roster. No, I, mean, I agree with that. Yeah. But like, hey, guess what? Who cares? Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, who cares? Wow, it's just an okay movie, Mason. I know you loved it for some reason. I did. <laughs> thought it was great. You thought it was great. Time. No, <laughs> you thought it was great. I didn't think it was great. <laughs> I thought it was fun. I think the thing about the thing about movies, James. I'm I listening. Think, I think sometimes just a movie will just like. Just, just, just hit you just right. I completely like, agree, yeah, yeah. and it can be on a, and it might, yeah. No, I agree. It can just hit you on the the right day, and yeah, you've yeah. had the right amount of sleep, and you're, right. you're properly caffeinated. And it just, mostly, it's it for, just hits for us. You. It's mostly about sleep. But sometimes you'll like. Sometimes somebody will be like, "Oh, you've got to check out this movie. It's an absolute classic of the genre." And you go on a streaming or whatever, and you put it on, and then five minutes, and you're like, "I'm not feeling this yeah, today." No. Yeah, no, I, I understand it's good, but not today. Yeah, absolutely, mm. completely yeah. agree. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, James Gunn presumably wants to do more Suicide Squad stuff. He wants to do a more. He's Viol- doing it all. Like yeah, Viola all Davis and yeah, good. et cetera, which is nice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it Trailers of Hood? <laughs> Here we go, Mason. Wait, wait, wait. That was a truck backing up. So was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. kind of noise is that, though? A uh, foghorn. Like in Victoria, that's the oh yeah, that's what you need. That's yeah, yeah, the, that's yeah. the law. I'm just because I'm I consider myself a like a student and citizen of the world, so <laughs> I I often get you know I get, I get mixed up. Yeah, know, yeah. Just, anyway, now that truck's out of the way. Okay, right here comes the. That's not a second truck, is it? No, that's a big ship. Thank goodness. Big ship full of trailers. <laughs> okay, so uh, Avatar two got a trailer. That's right. Another one, The Way of Water, and a um, we got an official runtime. Three hours and ten minutes, okay. which is the perfect amount of time for a movie. I think so. I feel. What did you think of the trailer, Mason? Were you blown away by the visuals and did you like the little skull that was actually regular-sized skull? Oh, I did like and that. whose skull is it? It's the guy who's crushing the, his own skull, I think. You think it's the Jake Sully being like, this no. is who I was. Was it Jake Sully? I don't remember. Yeah, Jake Sully. Was it you Jake You remember. I don't. Yeah, the, who's the, who crushed the skull? I think it was the, the, the bad guy. The bad guy from the first one. Yeah, do you think he was crushing his own skull? I think he's crushing his own skull because he's been rebuilt as a No, I'm not a human. Mm. I'm a regular man. Not a lot of Zoe Saldana, I thought, in the the trailer. Yes. Also, I can't. If they're jumping from like, (laughs) you know, like flying bird to flying bird, I don't don't know who it is. Sure, sure, If it's cutting quickly, you know. Yeah. But we got a better look, I think, at the the water navi, which was a bit of fun. I like that. That was a slightly different colour of aqua, which was good. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Or agua, as I would say. You say agua? Yeah. It's bold. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I hope it's good. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's good too. I hope it's mind-blowing. Mm. Do you want to see it in IMAX? Do you want to do the big experience? You want to see it how James Cameron wants you to see it, whether I, you like it or not? Yeah, I think I, think I should. Yeah. I don't know if I will, but yeah. Uh, yeah. But we'll see, I guess, we'll yeah. See. I'd some, look like there was some good mech action. That's what I'm in it for mostly, big mech big suits. Big mechs, mm-hmm. yeah. I, are they too spindly? Yeah, probably. Like not the mechs, uh-huh. the Navi. Oh. I don't know. I've, I, I've never like loved the design. Okay. But I don't know. Well, see, that's for me. I've never loved any of it. Any of it, really. Yeah. I think if I think if it were an immersive three D experience and it was all mech suits, I'd be a huge fan of it. It might be a bit much though. Just a big grey experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just me looking in a bloody mirror. Am I right, everybody? But uh, <laughs> but Mason. Yes. So, you saw the. I end think of, your hair looks nice, James. Thank you, Mason. But you saw the end of the Matrix Three when it was Mech City all the time. I did. Yeah. You want that? No, I want James Cameron to do that. Oh, okay. Sure. Remember, he did Terminator it's, Two also, and the one with the Mech Aliens. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. mm. yeah, yeah. That's really. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, the, it's the aesthetic that I don't care for. It's yeah. the the blue aliens and nature and what have you. I think that <laughs> the the core of it, I don't care for it. I think if if it were almost if it were like a World War Two dog fighting movie or something. Yeah. And by that I mean like planes, not actual dog fighting. That'd be sick though. It's not London, like a backyard in London with dog <laughs> fighting in it. I mean like if it were some sort of World War II movie in this, I think I'd, I'd be more into it just because okay. I, I prefer that kind of thing as opposed to the nature and nature and looking uh, at a flower and the flower opens up and it connects you to the tree internet or yeah, whatever. Yeah, tree internet, exactly. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Anyway, I hope it's good. Mm-hmm. And James Cameron has never steered us wrong before. That's true, I feel. <laughs> sure. I think he's exclusively uh-huh. made good movies. Let's do some casting, Mason. Okay. Are you familiar with Wonder Man? Yes. We actually talked about it just last week. We did. And then this happened. Mm. Uh, Are we on the pulse? I think so. I like to think so. So we, this is why the Illuminati, uh, it's Yaha Abdul Nadeen II has been cast. You might know him as, well, he was new Dr. Manhattan. That's right, in, in the Watchmen TV series. But he's also the villain in Aquaman. first Aquaman. Black Manta. Black Manta. And he's going to be portraying Simon. Well, Black Manta too. Oh, yeah, there first, was Dad Manta. Dad, he's Dad Manta. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Exactly. <laughs> now you're Dad Manta. Can I be Black Manta? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but he died. But he's dead. I'm gonna change my name anyway. He won't know. But uh, um, I'm gonna scrub the logo off his suit. It's a picture of a dad riding a manta. <laughs> you can tell it's a dad because he's on the grill. He's grilling. Yeah, he would be grilling, wouldn't he? Uh, so he's going to be Simon Wilson slash Wonder Man. My goodness. Uh, we talked about this last week, but Wonder Man is a Hollywood actor. Mm. Slash superhero. Yep. He's got the powers of a something and whatever, doesn't he? He's got an ionic based powers. He That's can turn what into I said, Mason. You don't need to repeat what I said. He can fly about with a little rocket belt sometimes, but they'll probably just say he can fly in this. Absolutely. What Wonder Man suit will he wear? Will it be the big red safari jacket? Maybe. Oh, I would love that, Mason. Yeah. Well, that's the action figure version, so. Yeah, cool. Big fan of that. Uh, so he also recently said that Aquaman was, or uh, Aquaman, as mm-hmm. some say because I'm an international man of the world, mm-hmm. uh, is clown work. <laughs> so, oh, that's right, he did. <laughs> that's right. But I don't think that's necessarily an insult. It's like no. you do like a, you do an indie drama where you yeah, mm-hmm. whatever in a thing. There is a great deal of value to clowning. <laughs> exactly. There's a fancy school in France where they teach you to be a clown. And they scream at you probably. They do a lot of screaming. Oh, they mime scream at they you. They mime scream at you, which is just as <laughs> terrifying, if not more terrifying. And apparently, rumor is that Bob Odenkirk will play a special role. Uh, perhaps his manager. Oh, okay. that sounds like a Saul Goodman kind of like does, doesn't it? Yeah. Situation. I I like him, and that's great. And in other news, Aubrey Plaza has joined Agatha Coven of Chaos, oh. which is the Agatha, Agatha Harkness series. In addition to Joe Locke, who did you do you watch Heartstopper? No, it was on Netflix. It was just two nice boys who fall in love, and it's British. Sounds and I'm nice. Like, what a nice show. If you want a nice show where you're like, that's nice, oh, yeah. you should watch it. It's good. I really enjoyed it. And I think apparently it's going to be nine episodes and it's going to be a one-off, unless it does really well, in which case it will continue. That's right. Uh, so there you go. A bit of casting there, Mason. Love casting. Don't mind if you do. I don't mind if I do. If you do like casting. I do like casting. Well, then I don't mind that. Yeah. This is by Bloomberg. Marvel has signed a multi-game deal. Yes. With. Go on. EA. EA. I knew it. (laughs) 
You didn't even have to finish the sentence. I just knew it. I could smell it. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily a bad thing because there are publishers under EA and yeah, whatever right, and right. et cetera. I mean, look at Jedi Fallen Order. It's well, I was going to say, I guess, I guess it makes sense if the Star Wars games are going through EA, yeah. the Marvel games would also go through EA. Exactly. So they also, did they do, well, they had a hand in the, yeah, the Guardians of the Galaxy video game uh-huh, and uh-huh, that's uh-huh. good, mm. but the Avengers one isn't. Sure. So, you know, it's, it was, no, that was Square Enix. I apologize. I apologize, Mason. Well, perhaps they've learned a lesson from Square Enix. I hope they have. To not make an Avengers game. Yeah. Mm. Again, mechanically sound and whatever, but they choked it with nonsense. Did they announce an, an Iron Man game yeah. fairly recently? Mm. So there's three games in active development. The okay. first will be an Iron Man game, mm. and the rumor is the second will be an open-world Black Panther game. But we're also getting that Captain America Black Panther World War II game. Oh, that's right, yeah. Which I guess is separate than this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I love all of that. All of that sounds good depending on the studio and depending whether it's a good game not, or not. not good going, a good going game, Mason. And it's, or is, is it an ongoing live service forever? Yeah, right. mm. Is it, what is it? Is it Gotham Knights? Yeah. That's a shame, isn't it? I, I don't know. Me neither. I haven't played it, but I no probably idea. won't. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to look up whether the lead court of Owl is Batman. I'll look that up at some point. I'll tell you after. Okay. Because <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> okay, great. Just give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. I had an initial reaction to that, but I feel like my reaction gave away what the answer would be. So I'm just going to say I, I, I appreciate you telling me, Mason. Mm. There we go. Now, what hap- actually happened there is James was so shocked by my revelation that he peed himself. <laughs> he had to pause for a few minutes. Just to clarify, mm. I had already peed myself, but I realized when Mason, like, that's, <laughs> okay. what, that's what jolted me back okay. to reality. Here we go. Yeah, I guess you're still a cool guy. <laughs> Thank you. This is by variety. Vote for us, people's <laughs> choice. <laughs> people's choice? Yeah. Because of the P, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, Russo Brothers are producing, uh, you know this, Guy Ritchie uh, and will be directing the Hercules live action remake. Based around the world of TikTok or something. Yes, Mason. So there was a Hercules movie from 98, I want to say. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more on the back end of the Disney Renaissance. Renaissance. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think it's quite good and, and whatever. And people like people, people tend to like it. But um, also they should put Danny DeVito back in it because he's the little goat man in it. Yeah, right, right. Just, right. You, just put him back in. Yeah, of course. Put him in the goat horns and shrink him down and yeah. – Yeah. I don't know who's playing Hercules. Apparently Danny DeVito though, also. That's right. Yeah. Apparently this Hercules film though will be a little bit more experimental in tone. Uh-oh. And a little bit more experimental in execution. And, you, and you might be like, what does that mean, Mason? James, what does that mean? This is what the Russos – one of the Russos says. There are questions <laughs> about how you translate – It doesn't matter which one of us this is. Yeah. One of us is saying this. That's right. It literally says said Russo. So. Right. There are questions about how you translate it as a musical. Audience today have been trained by TikTok, right? That's right. You've taken the right mm, lesson so from that. True. What, what is their expectation of what that musical looks like and feels like? That can be a lot of fun and help us push the boundaries a little bit on how you execute a modern musical. Do you think frenetic, cutting between different songs, stitching? <laughs> Sure, yeah. Stitch things together. Pointing at words that appear on the screen. Yeah, um, as things unfold. Yeah, yeah. Doing that thing where you like you jump and then all your clothes change. Uh, you know, they love that on TikTok. Got a don't they just? On. Yeah, I completely mm. agree. Anyway, what do yeah. you think about that? What if what if they got guy who's playing Hercules in Marvel? They doubled him up. Uh, Brett, whatever his name is, Ratner. Yes, yeah, Brett Ratner. Yeah, yeah. Brett, Brett Stevens. Brett Goldstein. There yeah. we go. Yeah, he's too old. Oh, yeah. He could be a song and dance man. Nah, man, he's too old. <laughs> okay, you right. need young. You need to go young Hercules. Hercules has to be like 17, 18 or whatever. Oh, I see. Probably early twenties. Okay. Like, they also said some very odd things. Oh, I love odd about, things. About the state of movie going. Oh, I want to know what's going on. I'll try and have it here, but they were basically like people. People are staying away from the cinema. They don't. People aren't going to the cinema. It's a. It's a. It's dead. The cinema's dead. Well, if they didn't well, release the Russo Brothers, the cinema. Cinemas is dead. The yeah. Netflix shouldn't have released Red Notice because that's the only reason I'm not going to cinemas because I'm constantly watching exactly, Red Notice. That's right. If Red Notice was playing in cinemas, I would go to cinemas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But the thing about it is that they were like, Did that come out this year. <laughs> Red Notice. Yeah. I don't know. No one knows. Uh, but they were like, oh, the cin- cinema's dead and Netflix is future and all that sort of stuff. But then it's like, okay, but. Everything, everywhere, all at once, which you had as some kind of hand in producing, yep. went absolutely gangbusters on on in cinemas yeah. and got an expanded Built release. Built word of mouth, yep. and people were talking about it for weeks. But then you put the Gray Man on Netflix, your movie, and the previous one, and about, it sank in twenty four hours. Yeah, and this, and also the other one they did with Tom Holland's in the army and got a camera in his butt. 
Sure, sure, sure. That one also went to streaming. Yeah. So they're putting their movies to streaming also. I know. Yeah. Well, because they're saying it's the future, but I'm saying. Wait, streaming is the future. They also stream- have the biggest movie of all time or whatever. That's true, at the cinemas. Yeah. That's weird. It was just a lot of word salad. Yeah. I'm going to Google. Which Russo brother said it? Doesn't matter. <laughs> But the other guy's like, oh, come on, man. You're making me look bad. Whichever one I am. Yeah. I'm supposed to be the good one. <laughs> Whichever one that is. So what are you looking up? I've Googled Russo Brothers and Word Salad and there's results going back years. So, <laughs> What did you think you were going to get from I that? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. What are you looking for specifically? Because I'm, I can. The thing you. about them saying cinema's over, but it's fine. Uh, you get the gist. What are they promoting? Hercules. No, no, it can't be. Oh, okay. I don't know. Why the, why the two-hour movie is dead, according to the Russo brothers? That could be it. We're in a major moment of disruption. The two-hour two hour film has, a, has had a great run for 100 years, but it has become a very predictable format. It's difficult, I think, to work in it. It's sort of like saying, we all like sonnets, so let's tell sonnets for 100 years, as many ways as we possibly can. I'm not sure that this next generation that is coming up is going to see two-hour narrative as the predominant form of storytelling for them. All right. James's face keeps sort of dropping the longer the sentence goes. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, I think there's always been other mediums other than film. And I, I'm so not saying true. that like that's not evolving through TikTok and various other uh-huh. whatever's happening. I don't know. I couldn't think of a second thing. <laughs> but I don't think that means that the two-hour movie is dead. True. I think it's just going to be in addition to. And the movie's... Everyone's always doing a movie. Everyone's always doing a movie. And and also... And Warner Brothers, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. We're like, we put our stuff, all our stuff to streaming like a year ago and it was really bad and we lost a bunch of money. Yeah, and I, I think that... And we did horror movies last week. Yeah. Uh, I think people are... And that, a lot of those are quite short. And I think, a, you know, people are going like, no, I love a 90-minute movie. Maybe, maybe that's what they mean. Maybe if someone said, do you mean the 90-minute movie is better? And they went, oh, yeah, that's where it's at. That's, that's the right. Actually, yeah. Of cinema. Mm. I don't know, man. I know. Got some release dates here, Mason. Just a quick little thing. Okay. Don't mind telling you. So that's you. the end of R- Russo's Producers? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes direct- What were they promoting? And sometimes directos. Yeah. Maybe maybe the grey man still. Uh, hang on, I'm just going through this. Okay, great. <laughs> they got a book out. They're doing like a one of those things where directors sit down and they go, this is how you make a movie or whatever. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe Master they've got a book out and they're, it's, it's a book they wrote one sentence each. They alternated. Oh. oh yeah. Who wrote which sentences? Who started? Doesn't matter, one of them. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I don't know. Why, I don't know why they were interviewed for whatever. So, release dates, Mason. The Last of Us has been confirmed. The series for January fifteenth. Good stuff. Quite soon. And Mandalorian season three for February twenty second, Mason. Okay, all right. All right. You should watch, watch Andor. Andor. I will. I because they're going to make a video about it, probably, Mason. Now. Right now. Oh, no. And it's very good. Okay. Well, I'll start on it this week. Stop not watching it. Okay. All and right. watch it. So, so when, when did you say Mandalorian? February. February 22nd. Okay. Well, yeah. people need time to get the good taste of Andor out of their mouth. <laughs> Mandalorian's okay. Yeah, I quite like the Mandalorian yeah. still, yeah. But, yeah, as I've said before, it feels like uh, it's like Xena. It's like mm. week-to-week adventures, yes. and uh-huh. what, which, again, as I've, is not an insult. It, it's, it, <laughs> it is what it is. It's not a bad thing. Right. Anyway. Uh, this is like mid-'90s. <laughs> Pseudo superhero show, low Drek. budget, Drek Xena. <laughs> they filmed in New Zealand or whatever. <laughs> uh, this is by a deadline. It's not, and that's a compliment. Exactly. Okay, deadline. They're deadline. a reliable source. So David Zaslav, you know, who's taken over mm. things at Warner Brothers, he was on an investor's call. He said, listen up, I'm the boss. And then yeah. he said, we're going to things have Things are a- going great. Yeah, yeah. And you all agree. We're going to have a real focus on franchises. We haven't had a Superman movie in 13 years. Not true. Not true. And we haven't had a Harry Potter movie in 15 years. One came out this year. Harry Potter specifically. Oh, though. I don't know. I don't know when they last 2011, one. I want okay, to say, right. the last one okay. was. Right. Also not true, though. Yeah. So he said, should be a focus on big movies that are loved, that are tentpoled, that people are going to leave early from dinner to go and see. And we have a lot of <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> Flip the table. Yeah. So you've made me this weird jellied casserole, <laughs> but I gotta go. You know, one of those. You're I a seventies dinner party. But I don't like that. Everything's been jellied. Yeah, don't do it. And that you're sitting in one of those pits. Yes, you know, like, you're like, in a conversation pit. Yes, dining room or whatever. Mm-hmm. And we have a lot of them. Franchises that is Mason, mm. Batman, Superman, Aquaman. If uh, if we can do something with J.K. on Harry Potter going forward. All right, sure. Good call. Good <laughs> calls all around. Lord of the Rings. What are we doing with Game of Thrones? 
Game of Thrones. Yeah, there's a, there's a show. What are you? Come on. What are we doing with a lot of big franchises that we have? We've we're focused on we're focused on franchises. So apparently, there's nothing in active development with the Wizarding World franchise. Okay. Um, Which means the last Fantastic, Fantastic Beasts, Beasts was dead. the last one. It's 100% okay, right. dead, even though it's not finished. They didn't finish it. There were going to be five to seven of those They were going to do World War II and they were going to go to Japan in episode four or whatever yeah, it was. That's yeah. right. But. And then maybe Australia. And maybe Australia. they kept going. Wizards Down Under. That's right. Spellbinder. 90s TV show like Xena and whatever. G'day, Merlin. G'day, Merlin. Yeah. G'day. Haven't been talking to the cop, have you, mate? <laughs> Mom, this is a eucalyptus wand. Nice, great. It's got a kangaroo's yeah. paw in it or something, yeah. doesn't it, Mason? Sure does. Either the, the animal or the plant. Yes. There are, there's two. There's yeah. two diff- different types. I could have gone with whatever the big wizard is, in, in but I went with Merlin. Oh, um, Dumbledore or whatever? Thank you, yes. Yeah. No, well, Merlin exists in the Harry Potter universe. Does he? I mean, he's dead, but yeah. All oh, right, okay. But also there's time travel. So yeah, he would whatever. have been beaten up in a 7-Eleven car park in Australia. That's, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> So it looks like they, they he wants to make specifically Harry Potter movies. Now there's an essential element there that you yep. kind of require, and that is the core cast. The core cast and yeah. Harry Potter specifically and Daniel yeah. Radcliffe. You need all three. You can't yeah. not. Yeah. That's true. Mm. And I don't think any of them – I don't think two of them want to do it. I think Rupert Grint would probably do another one. Yeah, I, I – I don't know anything. Well, I mean, I only say that because I don't know anything about his politics or like his. Yeah, he seems quite private, and he doesn't sort of make public statements about. Yeah, the situation. Sure, the situation. Also, uh, which I, and they are inevitably inevitably going to do these, but you can do them without J.K. Rowling, I assume. Yeah, because she wrote a lot of the Fantastic Beast stuff, and, and let me tell you, just not good That's right. at all. Really, <laughs> didn't tie together in any meaning. Did you say sense. that? I'm not. Sure. I, th- I don't think it was a Guardian article. It was something like that, and it was like, is. Daniel Radcliffe, the most ungrateful man in the world. What a rude little boy. What a rude little boy. He's trying to cancel his creator. All he said was Do you think like... Harry Potter's real? <laughs> All he said was like, I don't want, just maybe be nice to trans people yeah. or whatever. That's ungrateful. Mm. And he didn't even specifically say, I'm Rally ungrateful and, yeah. and she sucks specific, specifically. But yeah, I think they'll do it. Let me be clear. I'm ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> but I, th- I think it's going to happen. I yeah. think they've almost certainly already talked about it. Uh-huh. They already have the outline with the the, the play. Yeah, you right. could make that at least four movies because the play goes for seventeen hours. Sure, you yeah. could. You, so that's what it's going to to be. Okay, yeah. When they do it in mm-hmm. the next three to five years or whatever yeah, it's right. going to be, they start doing it at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they don't need the money, so it'd be funny no, if they're true. just like, "I'm not going to." Yeah, yeah. They, they couldn't recast, I guess. Nobody would accept the. Nobody. Would they accept, would if they had to. Yeah, no, sure. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, if yeah. Zaslav demanded it, I yeah. guess they would. They might get away with one of them being recast. Mm. But, yeah, yeah. But, they yeah. could get McLovin. They could get McLovin as Harry Potter. That's he's got glasses, doesn't he? That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to see any of it though. To be honest, sure. I'm so done and you've with seen all the, that the play. I've seen it, and okay. it's, it's as a stage play. Yeah, it's spectacular and more. Mm. And and like it's a shame. And look, every time we say like, "Hey, J.K. Rowling, her, all her opinions about trans people sucks," we'll inevitably get at least a couple of comments that are like, "What? Well, well, she's just telling the truth or whatever." Sean, the YouTube channel, Sean yep. has a video on J.K. Rowling specifically and all the people that she hangs out with and, and their opinions on trans people and all of that. So if you're like, "Why specifically do you think that you, that sucks?" Mm-hmm. Just look at a video that's. Better than anything I could make. Right. That explains He also it. has a video on, because I've seen most of the Harry Potter movies, but I've never read the books. Yeah. On like how awful the books kind of are and how a lot of them <laughs> don't make sense and how like. Yeah, it's a good video. It's okay. It, like uh, it seems like the movies gave the series a real revamp in terms of. Yeah. A lot of the characters in the books are really mean and awful, but it's okay because they're the good guys, and it's okay to make yeah. fun of fat people if they're the bad guys and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. And, you know. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's a good video too. Oh, so two there you two go. good videos. And we will do the final Harry Potter movies at some point. Sure. We will do an episode on Great. it. Great. It's a shame because I think there's so many good people involved with that franchise mm. and, you know, whatever. Mm. Anyway, don't fucking at me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it, Mason. Whoa. You'll say anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huge tech companies, Mason. Go on. In America. Oh. Pay. Oh, you're not doing it. You're not going to stop me every time I say a thing. Because I can leave space for you to say a funny thing. Oh, I thought I thought you were going to – are they going to pay us? No. Well, then I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm appalled. <laughs> they paid next to nothing in taxes, meaning Whoa. they barely give anything back to the society that made them 
rich. That's us. We're society. Exactly. We live in a society. This is where we are. They may not do a lot of giving, but they sure do a lot of taking. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about how these tech companies enrich themselves by taking your personal data. They grab your web history, email metadata. Not my web history. They do. Ah. Email, email metadata and, and video searches to create a detailed profile on you. And then they sell it off to the highest bidder. Companies aren't just selling products anymore, Mason. They're selling you specifically, but also everybody else. I don't want that. No. <laughs> Uh, you become- I want to be a man, as previously <laughs> mentioned on other ads. <laughs> you have become the product. To protect your identity and data from huge tech giants, we recommend using ExpressVPN every time you go online. Now think about all the websites that you visit. Facebook, Twitter, Google. Everything you do and say online is tracked by these giant corporations. Using your public IP address, they can uniquely match your activity and know your location. Oh. So ExpressVPN makes you anonymous online by camouflaging your IP address and replacing it with a different secure IP of your choice. ExpressVPN also encrypts all your data so that it's protected from hackers and anyone else that's trying to spy on you. And I... And what I, Mason, Go like on. most about ExpressVPN is how easy it is to use. I also like that. That was mine. That's my suggestion also. Okay, okay. Thing. It's easy, easy to use. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. All you're going to do, and you know this more than anybody, uh, just download the app on your phone or computer, tap one button, and you are protected. So if you're like me or maybe even Mason and you believe your internet data belongs to you and not to a greedy corporation, then ExpressVPN is the answer. So protect your data with the number one rated VPN provider today. Visit expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet to get three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet. Expressvpn.com slash weeklyplanet to learn more. Do it today. Do it right now. Now as you... Uh, 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 ah. now, <laughs> Thank God that was all cut out because that was quite mean what you did just then. I don't think people want to see that side of your personality. They're not ready for it. I don't think people want to see you tell you your personal name. So, as mentioned. That's how you sound. Oh, no. That's what you are like. <laughs> He's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, as mentioned, Warner Brothers uh, only had enough money this year to release two movies. Great. We already talked about the first one, and it was a huge success um, as, a, as a franchise starter. Oh, yeah. And now we're going to talk about the other one, which is Don't Worry, Darling. Yeah. Or in Australia, it's called Babe. Don't even stress, all right? You know? Settle down, babe. Settle, yeah. <laughs> so this cost $35 million to make uh-huh. and has made eight, uh, $85 million at the cinemas. Ooh, which is at the not, Cinemaplex. Not great, but it's gone to streaming and who knows and whatever. Yeah, it'll be on streaming in Australia this week, I think. Yeah. I wanted to watch it because I'm like, I have to know what this is yeah, and what right? it's about and yeah, why yeah. people are talking about it. What do you think the story was? Though? Oh, come on, mate. Yeah. All right. Okay, so what a fascinating movie! <laughs> All right, so so we've got a we've got a we've got a lovely lady. Her name is Alice, probably. Uh, let's just call them the actors' names. Okay, let's. Okay, she well, she's played by uh, Florence Pugh, yep. the stinkiest rising star Whoa, in Hollywood. You'll say anything. That's right. Um, and and she lives an idyllic life in a sort of um nineteen fifties. Uh, sort of desert community, like a planned yeah. community, along with a bunch of other housewives. And uh, you, you're handing out fidget spinners. Thank That's you. right. Um, Took the good one, the wheel. God damn it. <laughs> I knew the wheel was missing. <laughs> anyway, she lives out in ide- as sort of an idyllic uh, uh, sort of planned desert community uh, and, and a, with a bunch of other housewives. And every day their husbands, they go off to work on Project Victory, which is a mysterious thing. It's very mysterious. What's, what's, what's going in? What's going on? But it doesn't matter because it's just a lovely day. They, they... Don't worry. Some of your questions will be answered. That's right. Some of your questions. 40% of your questions will be answered. <laughs> That's right. And But it's but it's, uh, but it's it's nice because, you know, she she does all her chores during the day and she hangs out with the gals by the pool and she has yep. a she drinks a cocktail and then, then her husband comes home and they have roast dinner and they uh, do big kisses and everything is pretty. Kisses. Pretty good, and the, but then some. Maybe maybe life's not what it seems. What do you mean by that? I'll tell you later. We'll do a little bit of non-spoilers. Okay, then right. I can only yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. this in spoilers, really. Well, we something we never really talked about, and I don't think we should really because it's just sort the of background. To the this? background to this movie, and yeah. and look, I think other podcasts have covered it, and and you can just very. There's easily an exhaustive look it up. list of tweets and and um. And there was a, there was a great and, deal of background drama relating. 
yeah, around this movie, uh, around especially director Olivia Wilde, who yep. was also in this. And Shia, movie. Le- like she said, that she fired Shia LaBeouf because of his. Behavior. Who's not in this? Who's be- not in it? But yeah. then it turns out that that yeah. maybe wasn't the case. But but what I think is interesting is that all there are all sorts of directors that are that are terrible people, or, yeah. or that, that get there's a lot of behind the scenes drama that gets very ugly around lots of movies. Most movies. Yeah, most movies. Like David O. Russell, who directed the movie Amsterdam, yeah. which came out this year and apparently is not doing very well. That's got an all-star cast of, like, amazing actors. Yeah. But he is, like, a notoriously bad guy. Yes. He got into a fist fight with George Clooney once because yep. O. Russell was talking to – was was being awful to an actor on set. Yeah. And Clooney was like, hey, don't talk to her like that kind of thing. And then they – He's admitted to, like, sexual assault and all these other things. Yeah. And he's just not a good – no, but no. that, but the, his, his his like his work hasn't received that you know the amount of scrutiny or the amount of you know tabloid time no. and column inches and people and love the and, gossip and the Harry Styles. Well, exactly, and, the and I think and I think because they because this works because it's Olivia Wilde as a female director and they can be like, well, women are bitches, aren't they? So <laughs> they're always yeah, doing gossip and, and having drama. And there's and there was obviously the the Cannes Film Festival, whatever it was, and Florence Pugh was apparently like not wanting to promote this movie, and they had a. Oh, so we are covering all this. No, I'm just saying for people who and don't know. And then Harry know, Styles maybe spat on Chris but that Pine. turns out there's another angle and he probably didn't do that. In a way, gossip is delicious. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I never saw – I like I saw the video, but I didn't – Yeah, I mean – It didn't look like that He didn't, me. and or if he did, I don't care. But, yeah. um, yeah, and Florence Pugh, I just mentioned, didn't want to promote it, and clearly they've had a very public kind of mm. falling out, except – or not even public. Or obviously. did they? Or did they and whatever. Maybe it was anyway, all acting. So that's all that going on there yeah, yeah, if yeah. you are interested in it. But, no, well, I don't want to talk about any of that really. I want to talk about how – I don't think this movie is as bad as everybody says it is. I don't think it is it either. Is, but it doesn't hold up to any kind of like, if you're one of those people, and I'm sometimes this, who's like, why does this make sense? There's no, what's the logic behind any of this then? I, no, I, read, falls, a, I read a, um, I read a, a very short article with, which had a quote from Ursula K. Le Guin, the, the science fiction author. Okay. The late, I believe the late Ursula K. Le Guin. Mm. Um, what was she late for? Lunch. We were having a big jellied casserole. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, but it was about how when people who don't normally work in a genre, mm. like they don't write in a genre, they go into that genre and they're like, what do you think of this? What do you think of this idea that I've thought of? Yeah. And the rest of the people who are like lifers in that genre of science fiction or fantasy or whatever are like, yeah, we've covered that. That's the first thing that was ever made. <laughs> we did. We've, or, we've actually done that. Yeah. Um, and I kind of feel like this is – that it feels kind of like that with this. This yeah. is um because there is the big twist and whatever. Yeah. Going on there um, this. Yeah. It, it feels the, the the this movie to me feels like and I, look, I say this a lot. I say this having no knowledge of screenplays or the writing process or anything like that. Sure. I often feel like let's hear it then. Okay. Great. <laughs> People are on tenter hooks <laughs> waiting for this. But I say a lot. I think that what I think happened here is this this movie was written with a certain reveal in mind. Yeah. And then. Maybe not. Maybe not even the first draft of the script. Maybe just like in a, some ideas back in the day. And the, sure. and the writer of this uh, was like, "Oh, and then this happens." And they, or you know, they spoke to a producer or just one of their friends or something like that. And they, and their friend said, "Oh, like um, this other thing. this other famous, very well known, very well yeah. renowned thing." And this other thing, and they went, oh, not no. Not like that. No, I'm changing. I'm going to change. And they changed it. Yeah. But they didn't change any of the set pieces leading up to no. it. So none of the reveals or hints or. Oddities in the universe. Yeah. Some of them matter, uh-huh. but most of them don't. But I yeah. also feel like, and we'll get to this in spoilers, there's just a couple of the, the there's a couple of easy ways out where you could just say a couple of things and go, well, I mean, sure it doesn't make sense, but blah. Yeah. And I think But it does actually. It does, yeah. <laughs> and and look, I think that if that only applied to one thing in yeah. this movie, I'd go, oh, okay, sure, why not? Yeah. But it seems to apply to everything that is revealed in this movie. They also reveal everything in like the last five minutes. Right, yes. And then it ends. Mm-hmm. So it kind of, yeah, it, I think it does a very good job of like, I think the performances are generally very good. I think Florence Pugh in particular. I know people have talked about how Harry Styles. It's Florence Pugh on it, account of how she stinks. Okay, sorry, Florence Pugh. <laughs> of, um, I thought you were doing a serious thing for a second, Mason. Uh, <laughs> and even Harry Styles are people like, his accent is bad and and whatever. Yeah, and I think, I it's, I think, I think he's fine. fine. Yeah. I think he's he's very obviously acting wise outclassed yes. in that one scene he has that got little, posted on the internet. And he has that little flip out scene in the car, yeah, yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. like yelling, and it's like, mm. yeah, you. I think he definitely could be a very good actor. I think one thing that kind of maybe poisoned 
again, some of the, some of this outside drama kind of poisoned it. Where yeah. I think you've mentioned this, like he doesn't interview very well. And I no, think people are like, it's like a real movie. And I you think people were like, movies. people maybe went into this going like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. So this is going to be and Chris Pine hates him. And yeah, yeah. Like, does he? But on paper, like this, as as a as a as a as the one as one of the two movies that Warner Brothers has released this year, mm. it does like it makes sense because you have got Florence Pugh. It does make got Chris sense. Chris Pine, yeah. he's a great actor as well. Olivia Wilde did Booksmart, which people liked. Yeah. I think uh, the aesthetic of it is really, looks really good, good. Yeah, and yeah. on point. And again, Harry Styles. Harry cars. Styles is a money printing machine in yeah. a different medium. So, like, put him in this, and maybe you get all the One Direction fans and the Harry Styles stands and all that sort of stuff. Whatever, yeah. You know, so yeah. But what's also interesting, I think, is as far as I know, this is an original idea. Is Which, it though? <laughs> no, I mean it's not. It's 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 quite hack, but it's not based on a yeah. comic book. It's not based on a TV series. That's it's fair, not yeah. a remake of an old TV series. Yeah, but it's also like Stepford Wives meets. Well, another well, yeah, thing. Well, other thing, but yeah. also like everything is derivative of something else. That's and true, I think yeah. you're right in the sense that if you did tweak a few things and yeah. you maybe the last five minutes weren't just like, and this and this and this and this and this, and now it's the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this, the, I think this would come together. Yeah. It fe- I don't know whether it feels like a rushed edit to fix, or maybe they didn't have all the footage that they needed to do to explain this properly. Again, I don't, I don't have any knowledge of the background of this, but I think there's an element to this that was a sort of a, Maybe not a last minute reshoot, but just kind of like, yeah, we we got to fix this somehow. So we'll, uh, so we will, we will. I don't know. Should we just do spoilers? Let's um, let's let's do spoilers. But first, like I like you said, I think aesthetically it looks really nice. Like yep. they've nailed that that kind of 1950s, 60s Palm Beach kind of look. Yeah, you know, all the costumes are great. I think, and the hairstyles and the oh yeah, the sound design was also really good, which yeah. is not something I normally pick up on. But I uh, watched this. Uh, quite late at night with headphones on so as not to disturb the neighbours. And I'm mm. like, oh, this is this is very effective and like in setting a mood. Like These are good headphones. These are such, such good headphones. Good headphones. Got a JV hi-fi. Did you really? I don't know, like Sennheiser's or something. Yeah, yeah. But like very effect. I thought it was very effective, like just the sound design building tension. And, yeah, okay. And, and I thought, you know, it sort of dips in. It, it was very effective, I think, it sort of adding like little elements of surrealism Totally. To the movie, like they were, I think that I felt they were kind of perfectly timed. There's a squished wall bit. There's a squished wall bit. Some I maybe I didn't love the squished wall bit, but there's just sort of, you know, el- there's the the elements where where Florence Pugh starts to feel like maybe she doesn't fit in here yeah. for whatever reason. Like we we would just see like we'd hear snippets of audio and we'd see little things, and I think it was yeah. pretty good at building clues. Whereas a lot of movies and video games and like stuff like movie. this, it's just like it just beats you over the head with it. Yeah. And, and I think, uh, yeah. No, I, I totally agree with that. Um, yeah, and I think also a big part of it is that she's really good mm. and sells so much of this. Yeah. Because if you put somebody in that role who's like less convincing mm-hmm. than just being like, what is going on? It's yeah. like if you put me in it, for example. Oh, yeah. It might even be more convincing, but more realistically it would be less convincing. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Because I wouldn't be able to sell any of this. You don't know one end of a vacuum cleaner from the other. That's not true, Mason. One end's got the thing in the other one, doesn't it? In the okay, you got me there. Whatever. You called my bluff. It's true, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Absolutely. spoilers? Uh, yes. Uh, what else can we say about this? Before we get into spoilers, I think it's interesting that they went. This is uh, this is like a, a movie that, from a, the female perspective, it's like it's, a movie. It's like a movie, but it's also very sex positive, and you're seeing um, like sex from a female perspective, and you do get that because there is a, like a fairly graphic for a movie uh, sex scene, uh-huh. which I I won't get into because I don't want the censors to come down on me. I don't want big tech mason. That's right. To come down on me. Uh-huh. No pun intended. But um, but then when you find out what the reveal is, it's like. Oh, no, it's not really sex positive towards women, is it? No, in a way, it's <laughs> the worst thing imaginable. Um, but, yeah, I think I think otherwise, beyond the reveal, like bef- before the reveal, I think this was this is way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, and I think also me knowing what the ending was helped because I think if I didn't know that and then it hit that, I would have been more like, excuse me, what? Like it right, would have, okay. I think maybe I would have had a lesser opinion of this. Huh. Cause see, because I ha- I knew basically what I mean. I sort of before I knew anything about the movie, I sort of guessed basically what the, sure what it was going to be. Because you're but, so clever. Because I'm very clever. Yeah. But and 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 I knew more or less what the the twist was going in. Yeah. Uh, I think I probably would have enjoyed it more if I didn't know. Okay. But I had sure. no. I ultimately had no intention of watching this in the first place. So which is the reason why I <laughs> I skipped to the yeah, end. I skipped to the end of the, the you know the the Wikipedia article yeah. or whatever. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to say best movie ever. I kind of liked it. Yeah. But it's I but, uh, that's not like a strong recommendation. It's more a fascinating mm. 
I don't know. I think it's also it's it's just a fascinate. The whole thing to me is fascinating all yeah. around. I'm not talking like specifically the gossip stuff, but just mm. how did this all come together? Yeah, yeah. I guess it. Uh, but also, mm. it was written by Shane Van Dyke, who was the grandson of Dick Van Dyke. Oh, okay. He was also in the he was also in the TV series Diagnosis Murder. I was in that show. You weren't. Yeah. You're a liar. I was the diagnosis. You're a liar, Machine. You're a Beep boop. Wow. You have. He also uh, an he was also a screenwriter for Transmorphers too. That was a good one. Yeah, it was one of the good ones. Yeah. It's <laughs> Transmorphers 2, Street Racer, Paranormal Entity, The Day the Earth Stopped, and The Silence. Is that the one movie? I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna guess these are all uh yeah. asylum films. Okay. Yeah. Well this sort of also could feel like what if an asylum film had like a really big budget? Yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess. But yeah. Yeah. no, it's better than that. I should that's yeah. kind of make... Anyway, spoilers in the the yeah. whole deal here. So anyways. Mm. What's the reveal? Well, the reveal is... It's like a movie. Oh, my God, it is like a movie. Yeah. But the reveal is that, in fact, Florence uh, Pugh's uh, character... Because she stinks. Because she stinks. Is, it does not actually live in a 1950s era desert Thing and whatever. town. Which, I mean, the clues are all there, especially since it seems to be the 50s and some of the characters aren't white and they don't experience, like, open massive racism. Yep, yep, sure. At all times. But, in fact, she exists in the present day mm. uh, and and... Uh, Harry Styles' character, who is her boyfriend, she's a doctor, and her, and her boyfriend, Harry Styles, uh, he's lost his job and he listens to a podcast, I think. Yes. He, he listens to a podcast hosted by Chris Pine. Who's very specifically been mentioned as being Jordan Peterson. Yeah, yeah. So he's that yeah. kind of guy. He's a rules for life kind of guy. Yeah. And, and who's given him access to some sort of technology which enables you to put someone in a vir- yourself and someone else into a virtual world in which you – Live out a 1950s fantasy yep. kind of thing, and you can be whoever you want to be. Yeah, 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 and whatever they build that life for you. know, it's a completely photorealistic universe, but and you and you do that by putting a little thing on your eyes, and you're completely immersed in it somehow, and whatever. So you're completely immersed in it somehow, and, and you get laser shot into your eyes. Lasers in your, in your eyes, baby. But that means that when he's going to work every day, he's not in fact going to work. Well, he yes. is. He's going into the real world to work like a minimum wage job or whatever mm-hmm. he does, which powers this completely immersive. It yeah, pays for this completely pays for immersive thing. So he's not. But it's also it's strange because Chris Pine like gives him a promotion at one point within the the universe because yeah, Chris yeah. Pine also lives in the universe. Mm. But so it, it was confusing to me of like, well, what does that even mean to get a well, promotion? Well, there's a moment. There's also a moment in the movie where look, there's so many. There's so many moments in this movie. I'm trying to think of all the moments. moments and there's too in this many. Movie. To, for me to also, know. I, I was going to say earlier, you know, sometimes a movie isn't. You know, I. I as I get older, certainly, and I think you might agree with this, it, watching a movie isn't all about, ha- look, it has to have the most ironclad logic. And it has to, sometimes yeah. it's about a vibe, and this yeah. gave a good spooky vibe, which I like. Yeah, I but agree. But if you were just hit over the head with constant, like, this doesn't make sense and this doesn't make sense, mm. and it, it, do, it does detract ultimately from things. But so at one point, uh, Florence Pugh claims that she, uh, Florence Pugh's character sees another housewife kill herself yeah. and then everybody else is like, no, you didn't. She fell but she's actually fine and yeah. you just don't see her anymore and we're going to give you some some drugs. Yeah. What are the drugs? She doesn't take the drugs. No. But like what would they be? Yeah. Are they computer drugs? Microchip? Is it a microchip? Yeah. Does Harry Styles give her a drug in real life? I don't know. Right. Well, he was. He also agreed. He's like, she doesn't need that drug. Exactly. So what? But what were the drugs? I don't know. I don't know. It's a great question. But that's the thing. Like I was getting to earlier. What I think happened here at some point earlier in the script writing process. This was, hey, what if men? Are, so and he's Harry Styles is not alone. A bunch of men are doing this. All the housewives in this universe. Are, yeah. Uh, they've been dragged in. They've been dragged except in for one. Yeah, they've been dragged in. Either they are somebody's partner or they're just a random woman. They could be kidnapped. Could be kidnapped. It doesn't – because yeah. at one point the uh, Harry Styles character is asked like when he applies for this thing, mm. this device, they're like uh, pre- existing relationship and he says yes. So I guess a lot of the women are not in an existing relationship. Yeah. So, But um, what I think happened is the, the original idea might have been, okay, well – Everybody who's in this town is actually – it's actually a desert – it's a, it's a, it's in a compound mm. and it's like a cult and all these women, they're physically in this, in this compound. It's like a, the village situation. It's like, exactly. It's like a, the village situation. They've had them – but they've had they're their – They're village mem- people. They're the village people. I said village people, not the. Oh, sorry. Village of the people. <laughs> Um, but they've all been – they've had their memories erased and they think they're 1950s housewives. But if you go 
over the ridge or you go over the mountains, you'll find the real world, but they can't go to the real world. Yeah. And then somebody said, I'll oh, like the village. Yeah. And they went, what? And they went, that M. Night Shyamalan movie where it was revealed. And they went, but we can't take out the bit where the plane flies over and exactly. crashes. Exactly. So they were like, and they're like, oh, it's also a little bit like the Truman Show because yeah. she has to go on a, she has to go on a, an a, epic adventure, an epic adventure, and there's a chase and what have you. What was the plane? Because that really, that what what was the? Why would they put in a plane that crashes? Yeah, that would so, encourage people to go out of the desert. Yeah, and find so, so her, so the her, big lighthouse. Yes, that so people who haven't seen this but are still listening, Florence Pugh is is taking a trolley car to to out of town or something, and she sees a plane uh, flying around, a little prop plane. And then it, it smoke is coming out of it and it crashes. Mm. And she's like, I've got to investigate that plane. And then she goes out and she finds the uh, the Victory headquarters and she has some uh, trippy visuals and what have you. Whoa. And then she passes out and she wakes up back in her own home. But what is the plane? Like yeah. we, n- we never see it. Is it a glitch? Is it? A- well, see, that's the that's the other thing is that a- almost any almost any issue you have with this movie or the logic of the movie, you can either do one of two things. Mm. You can go, it's a glitch. Or yeah. you can go, yeah, but the men are psychos, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> like any number of those things. So you'd be like, okay, so did they build a, did did somebody design a fully realized digital model of a plane with like engines and what yeah. have you, and and that that can you know smoke out and the engines can fail and then it'll crash? If so, why? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, well, it's a glitch, isn't it? Exactly. Or like, oh, I guess one of the psychos made it. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, this, maybe, made this it, yeah. Mi- maybe this is a Minecraft situation and yeah, people yeah. build their own little but, little things. I also like if so – Chris Pine has made this universe. Yes. And there's like eight families in it or whatever. I think there's more. There's more, right? But yeah. it's it's a, obviously is, – is, is there multiple communities? Is this like a test community? Are some of them not real? Are some of them not real? Because I know like – the kids Olivia, aren't real. Yeah, so Olivia Wilde's character is revealed. She's at the end. She, at the end she runs in. And she goes, "I knew, I knew all she, along." She knew the whole time, but her children in real life were killed. Probably, yeah. So they've brought. So she's brought herself into this world so knowingly, she, yeah, knowingly, so she can have two digital kids who seem to operate pretty much like real kids. Yeah, which makes people wonder, or of the audience perhaps wonder, well, why couldn't these men why just have digital lives? Yeah. Why? Well, and and it's like well because they're psychos yeah so I think it also works that also works in the sense of like he asked they're like oh we're not gonna have kids and then he's like oh we should have a kid mm. and he speaks to Florence Pugh and I guess that also if she ever figured out that what was going on her she's got a digital child in this matrix thing yeah right and right. so she would be less inclined to leave yeah right she'd be abandoning somebody who's I guess a mixture of their brain waves or something, or, or who, not, who, or not, who or knows? just entirely yeah, random, right? I also enjoyed how, and I think this was an added bit where Harry Styles chooses to be British. Sure, yeah, and so he's American in the real world, and I think that was to be like his accent slips up a bit. So we'll just say he's, we we'll just say he's, he's British because yeah. he's not like strictly British throughout. I no, feel. no, yeah. Mm. When he does some big actings, he, he does like some it. big actings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he dies, right? Yes. A, at the end, she, he's like, don't leave me, I love you. And Olivia, Olivia Wilde explains, yeah. if you kill a man in this universe, After she, dies. she kills him, she fucking crushes his head in yeah. with a whatever. Uh-huh. But that, so, but just the men, I think, yeah. maybe. And well, then, Olivia Wilde specifically says, if you kill a man in this world, he dies in real life. But he, she doesn't say if you kill anyone in this well, world, Well, that's what I thought because, life. like, what? Because then the stakes of her trying to escape would also be, like, if she dies in this car crash. Yeah. Then, then that's you die in real life. But I mean, but the stakes are, I guess, so if they catch yeah. her, they'll wipe her memory or not. Because there's a moment where they take her away and they're like, "We'll fix all her memories yeah, yeah. and everything, and we'll restore, we'll, we'll reset her factory, factory setting so she thinks she's here." But then she's immediately just like, "No, I remember everything." But also, like again and again, if if the, if this if all these reveals weren't in such a rush and they made more sense, we wouldn't have to question. We just go, "It's fine" or whatever. Yeah. But also, like, isn't this whole universe networked? How yeah. could she have a car chase? Couldn't they just switch her off? Yeah. But uh, maybe there's a glitch, though. Maybe there's a glitch. But maybe there's also the men are psychos. Maybe there's men are psychos. Maybe there's a glitch. Maybe it's both. The qu- at the same a question time. that also, I also thought of was okay, so if these guys all want to return to this 1950s idyllic universe and they've yeah. got a beautiful wife and they make love to the beautiful wife. This isn't my beautiful wife. It's perfect and they have perfect food. Can they. Do they eat and taste and. I don't know. But wouldn't the fact that you have to. Take your comatose girlfriend to the bathroom. Yeah, in real, Empty, in a real, like a bedpan, probably empty bedpans and whatever. And, yeah, wouldn't yeah. that, wouldn't that, 
take away some of the the glamour of this false universe. I but would. Then the but Menosyca, the Menosyca, the Menosyca, is, and it's a glitch. Maybe they're in their maybe, brains. Maybe they maybe they some of them are into it or whatever. I wouldn't do it, Mason. I also if wouldn't. If someone do was it. like, put your wife in a VR machine, oh, I'd yeah. say no, thank wow. you. What if that VR machine was Daxel Nightmare, the pterodactyl <laughs> hunting guy? No, because I'd but get... the pterodactyls are hunting you. That's what I'm saying. And the yeah. men die in there, so it'd be me getting yeah. eaten by a pterodactyl. That's right. Yeah. She's wandering around with a big headset on. <laughs> wait, a, wait, a, it looks, looks like you've got a microwave on your head. <laughs> and also Chris Pine gets stabbed by um, Gemma Chan, Gemma Chan who's in this, which comes completely out of nowhere. Because she is super on board with... Yeah. She spends the entire movie going... Don't you question this reality. Don't be mean to my husband. He's yeah. doing great things and just keep at it and what have you. And then at the end she's just like, I'm going to kill you though. Yeah. And now it's my turn. What do you mean? For you what? T- for what? I would have found it more interesting if it was she wasn't real and was maybe an AI taking over the thing. Maybe she is though. Just any and explanation. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe she was the plane. Maybe, maybe she, she was just... like, I did the glitch and whatever because yeah. I want to take over the whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I think all of these things would have could have been, you know, it could have come together. I think so too. Yeah, it's it's nearly like oh yeah, this is some good and, and all and all mm. of those things. Yeah, I don't know. I just found it so strange that I don't know. It's just that this that five minute like just absolute breakneck pace. Just, yeah, they just dump everything in your lap but and be like you, sort do, through this. But would you agree that a lot of the the thi- a lot of the Actions of the movie make more sense if you think if they if the fifties thing is in the real world, yeah, as opposed to a virtual world, yes. right? All the all the lead up, it, again, and you have to get through the tunnel to escape and whatever. Exactly, it, it 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 feels it again. It feels like they were like that. It was the the idea that it was a virtual world was a last minute change, and they went, well, we can't get rid of all the other stuff because we'd have to write different stuff. Yeah, and I don't want to write any of the different stuff. I don't want to write anything. Right? You ever used a pen? Gross. God, damn. Have, you, have you tried to write? Like by hand extensively as an adult? I try not to. Oh, my God. Yeah, I used to do more as a teacher. But yeah. now that I don't do that, that's no, right. never. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, plane crash. Yep. Can women die? Yeah, we covered that. Yep. How does Alice eat, eat or go uh, to the bathroom? That's mm. a great question. I'm presuming catheters and stuff, I assume. I guess. Mm. Oh, Harry Styles' big dance number. Oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nah, 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 yeah, yeah. Nah, what nah, was the nah, promotion? Nah. What, what did it I don't, mean? I don't know. That's like, what I'm saying. I don't like, know. You can wear this ring. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, does it mean like it's free to be in there now or I whatever? Don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Chris Pine, what are you doing in your yeah. weird universe? But I felt, yeah, you're right. Stepford, Stepford Wives, uh, The Truman Show, The Village, you know, other things. All of those things. All those things. I mean, I guess you could if if you did it like the village, you did that that particular version of it. Yeah, I guess you'd do it like they put a memory wipe drug and whatever. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And she was a surgeon, Mason, and he stopped her from doing surgeons. That's right. Why did nobody notice? How long was she missing? Years, maybe. And nobody could have been months. I don't know. Yeah, or his hair week. was long. That's true. And that long, says something. Long enough. It does, doesn't it? That's right. He's a psycho. Yeah, he's a psycho. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like did nobody at, this, at the hospital notice she was gone? No. She was pulling 30-hour shifts. Not anymore. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Wow. It's a glitch. It's a glitch in the minute. And they're, they're probably just like, her husband's a fucking psycho, so that's probably what's it. He's probably killed her or put her in a VR machine. Don't worry about that's it. That's not our concern. <laughs> <laughs> it all, it's also odd when – a universe has like one piece of really bizarre advanced technology yeah. and everything else looks about the same. I didn't think it was going to be a clockwork orange, pin your eyes open machine. Right. It just didn't feel like enough tech. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Nice for yeah. Me. yeah. I guess it's more horrifying. That's having true, your eyes yeah. pinned open the whole yeah, time yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and all yeah. of that. So that's good. Yeah. And, I'll, and I'll love, I love everything. Yeah, I love everything also. Yeah. I love movies. Yeah, I'm happy I to thought, you know what? Someone someone had a crack at something that wasn't a Marvel movie. And it's I appreciated a movie. That. It was yeah. a movie, and the what I liked about it was was it was like a movie. Is she directing? She's not directing anything else ever again. Isn't she doing an upcoming something? She and might rather be. like a Sony Marvel thing, maybe. Well, she might be. Hey, look look what look at advert, the advertisement that I've uh, just got from Prime Video on my phone. Available now, My Policeman starring oh, Harry Styles. Oh my god, it's out, is it? Yeah, apparently. Apparently not great. Okay, I've heard, great. but I yeah. Good wow, stuff. Wow, wow. She's attached to a female-centered superhero film as part of the Sony Pictures Universe of Marvel oh, characters it franchise. Webb? I don't know whether she's doing that one. She's okay. doing one of them. Okay, right. Maybe. Yeah, nice. No, that's SJ Clarkson is doing Madam Web. Oh, yeah, it's another one. Okay, great. I don't know which one. Terrific. But I love that. Anyways, all in all, yeah. what a movie. What and you can go movie? to the movies and see it. Just kidding, you can't. It's on streaming now. You could. You can stay in your own home. Stay in your own home. 
pin your eyes open and watch this movie. You won't regret it. That's right. Yeah. And you won't need to go to the toilet. <laughs> For at least that, right? That's my guarantee. Wow, is it? That's Meso's movie guarantee. Tweet it, Mason, if you watch this and you did in fact need to go to the toilet, wow. please. No, I didn't say need to go to the toilet. You will definitely need to go to the toilet. You but won't. You won't. You won't go to the toilet. You'll be on the, the edge of your seat, <laughs> your toilet seat. You'll be watching it on your phone. Very good. Yeah. All right, everybody, do you know what it's time for? Oh, it's time for what we're reading. What we're going to read. Huzzah! Ba, 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 ba. I'm doing the thing. Ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Westworld. Oh, he's done it. He's absolutely done it. The absolute madman. End of an era. Wow. Well, we'll miss it, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mason. Hello. What are you reading? That's a great question. I've got a, I've got a bunch of stuff that is, uh, that, that's in the queue that I've got to watch this week. Oh, yeah. We're both going to watch Weird. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, Weird Al Yankovic biopic, which yeah, apparently is good. delightful. And yeah. just, just every move. Like the the fact that it's on Roku yeah. as opposed to any other streaming service, fascinating. Mm. But yeah, speaking of Daniel Radcliffe, love to see him in things. Mm. It's really good. I got to catch up on Andor, obviously. I think yeah. I'll do that this week. And also, Confess Fletch is finally out on streaming in Australia. Oh, so I'm gonna yeah, watch yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. What's that. it on? Everything. Great. Yeah. So I'm gonna watch that. Uh, speaking of Andor, Mason, I have a dilemma. It's more of a brag. Um, I have episode ten of Andor. They oh. sent a screener, oh. and I'm like, do I watch it now? Right. With my email plastered across it on my laptop. Sure, sure, sure. Or do I wait till Wednesday Mr. when Sunday I can movies for really, That's right. Yeah, yeah. When I can really enjoy it, mm. and I, I've got till Monday to decide because then the screen they take it down away and they take it away. And what are we up to on regular? It's not it's up, up to nine, nine. Oh, right, and it's wow. uh, it's a real pivotal moment. I'm like, I really want to watch this, wow. but I know by the time I get to Wednesday, I'll be like, God damn it, I shouldn't have watched it. But also, uh-huh. I know that on Monday after it goes down, I'll be like, God damn, I should have watched that before it goes down. So Tuesday is going to be really interesting. You know, yeah, I don't you're know. gonna have a mental breakdown <laughs> of some sort. I yeah. think. Anyway, what would you do? Ah, uh, I would watch it for bragging rights. Okay. Yeah. And then tweet that I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. And then tweet something that is. Not entirely a spoiler, but if anybody has been paying attention at all, like it is the last a spoiler. five minutes, yeah, just the video of the last <laughs> five minutes of the show, yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 that's right. Great, I will. Yeah. I'll do that then. And yeah. just you, like, you're 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 like next to the TV doing doing devil horns, being like, yeah, my yeah. laptop, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure, <laughs> it'll be a laptop. Okay, great. Uh, oh, you see laptops also. Yeah. Do you think it is going to end with any kind of big spectacular thing that needs a big screen? It's not. No, well, it's not a big spectacular show in that sense. Seems that way. It's yeah. not like let's all shoot each other with lightsabers as much. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But again, how many have you seen? Three. Yeah. I've got so much good stuff to catch up on. I know. I want to watch it. I don't have time now though. Star Wars. Is, I watch. Don't worry, darling. Star Wars is good and shut up about it. <laughs> is that everything we've been watching and doing? I think so. Yeah. Mm. Have there been any fun video essays on YouTube? That's what I'm. That's what I mostly get into these Always days. Always, Mason. Yeah, let's have a look. I'm mm. Watching a bit. Mm. I've been watching. Should we get into Marvel Snap? Oh yeah, that's snap apparently good for a snap game. Marvel based card game. I've been. Uh, I've been watching Elon Musk destroy his reputation. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, I never liked him, so it's good to see everybody else realize that he sucks. Not that well, I'm the only – I wasn't the only person who was like, maybe this guy sucks. Uh-huh. But, yeah, that's fun to watch, isn't it? It is cool. Yeah. I know you're a big fan though, so I'm sorry that your hero is uh, is an absolute fucking buffoon. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had to learn one day, didn't you I? You did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. He's but enough about you, uh, Mr. No. Sunday Movies, the buffoon we were talking about. You got me. <laughs> you got me, Mason. That's good stuff, um, I reckon. Uh, there's a YouTube channel that I like. Uh, I like his reviews from Oliver Harper. He's been doing it for, yeah. for quite a long time now. He recently had a review for the movie End of Days. Oh, with yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger fights the devil who's Gabriel Byrne movie. Yeah, right. okay. And I really like his reviews because he gets into like the soundtrack and the, the marketing of it and how it all came together and whatever. I just, yeah, I like his, uh, I like his style. Pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, the next segment, I believe, yeah. it's Let Halls. Let's do it. I'm going to play the theme. I'm ready to hear it. The classic one was Letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. Here right now, we're gonna do that. Is bam, bam, it's bam, bitty damn. time. If you want to reach the show, hashtag weekly planet pod on Twitter or weekly planet pod at gmail.com. Terrifico, uh, Mason, do you have any gmails that you want to send our I've way? Got so many gmails. Let's do it. This from Matthew one. P. Morin. Let's do it. He says, Oi, 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 o
Hi guys, first time writing in, wanted to thank you for your incredible podcast. It's been keeping me smiling and sane while I have to remain isolated since I have family members who are immunocompromised. I was wondering if you happen to catch the new Simpsons Halloween special. One of my favourite memories of the show was hearing you both crack up while remembering the Bart vs. Australia episode, and I immediately thought of you when they took another swipe at Aussies in the Westworld parody. What? Interesting. I, maybe I will watch There's that. There's also a great little Death Note segment done by the team of the original anime. Oh, I did see that. Uh, of course you yeah. did. Not, I saw clips of it. I didn't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've, I've been off the Simpsons for decades. Yeah, because I see like it pops up on Disney Plus and it's like, what if Lisa was Loki or whatever? And I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> right? no, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, maybe I will check it out. I like those three House of Horror ones. That's true. You know what I've been checking out though. I'm, 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 I'm excited to be insane with Fury because they made fun of Australians again. Me too. Yeah. Uh, speaking of just quickly animation, I forgot yes. to mention this. Uh, Raw Collings, who edits this, put together an animation for Little James. Oh yeah, I did if see people that. are interested, uh, his Twitter at Raw Collings. It's 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 short, but it's it's very fun. Uh, uh, horrible uh, little homunculus. <laughs> yeah. Little What's James. What's he up to down there? Right. I don't know. I don't think he's there. <laughs> I think he is there. Oh. <laughs> wow. Anyways, go on, Mason. What else is in that letter? That's everything. Well, then, good. Yeah. Hmm. So the one, the one of the straight, they do a stray in Westworld. Yeah, I think I, I think I could like that. I think I could like it, Mason. Mm. This is from Jack who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I uh, really wish you watched the movie The Black Phone for the Halloween episode. Oh, well, maybe next year. The Black Phone is directed by... By the guy who did the first Doctor Strange movie. Yes, I did talk about it. My less successful podcast, Suggestible, nice. uh, a few weeks back, and I thoroughly enjoyed the Black Phone. Um, it's very good. Have you seen it? No, no. You should yet. watch it. It's really good. Maybe we'll watch it. Maybe you should watch it. Maybe we will. It's got Ethan Hawke and he's got a variety of weird masks, and he's like, "Boo, that's boo. cool." All right, but what about in the movie? What about in the movie? Mm-hmm. Haven't seen it. Okay, great. Mason, what's next? Terrific. This is from uh, Kurt. Okay. Hello, James and Mason. All right. I'll be taking a road trip starting on Monday the 7th. Wow. It doesn't say what month, but I assume November. Okay. That will have me driving over 3,500 miles <gasps> to pick up some vintage amusement park memorabilia and bring it home. Wow. I've been saving up several of the recent weekly Planet Pods to keep me company during my many days long drive. Considering that you have a bit of a reputation for people having unfortunate things happening to them while they're listening to the pod, I feel that I may be tempting fate to strike me down. I was wondering if I could get some well wishes on the pod this week in an attempt to disrupt the curse and I can make it back home safely. Wish me good luck. It's not a curse. It's just that we have such a variety and a large number of listeners who are all going to vote for us in the the most popular podcast award or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That inevitably somebody's going to have a horrible accident. Exactly. Think about all the good things that happen when people listen to this podcast. Maybe they're like, look at this burrito I found. Right? Look at (laughs) yum, yum, yum. It was just under this chair. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Hey, baby, giving birth, but I'm listening to the podcast. You want an earbud? And I found this burrito. That's right. Yeah. You know? Good stuff, right? Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. We got we got race car drivers. Yep. We got motorcycle bikers. We've got helicopter drivers. Helicopter drivers. Whatever you can drive, you can listen to this. That's right. It's absolutely fine. Yeah, we're just walking. Oops. A pedestrian. Don't approve, no. What if they're finding a burrito on the ground, though? Well, that's different. It's different. Now you're speaking my language. Yeah, that's right. The language of finding a burrito on the oh, ground. I could go, bro. Maybe I'll get a burrito today. Maybe you should get a burrito. That's cool. That'd be cool. You'd like it. What's in your go-to burrito, James? My go-to burrito, yes. Mason? Let me yes. tell you. Go on. Eggs. Okay. This is uh, a breakfast burrito. No. Eggs. Okay. okay. Uh, two eggs. Okay. Uh, banana. Is this going to be a pancake? <laughs> bit of protein powder. Oh, no, this is not a burrito. A uh, pinch of baking soda. Uh-huh. You blend yeah. that up. Yep. You pour it. You, you, that'll give you probably six to eight small pan, 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 pancakes. And then you put those in a burrito? You probably want to use coconut oil. You don't have to, not strictly. You can use regular oil. When's the burrito coming into this? Not, you're not, I am uh, furious, James. <laughs> when are you getting to the burrito part? You probably, depending on the size of your pan, you want something non-stick as well. Uh-huh. And you could probably, you know, cook a few at a time, but they don't take that long to cook. Sometimes you, sometimes uh-huh. I put a little greenery in there before I blend it all up. So you might yeah. get a slight, a green twinge. But who doesn't like to get some green? You are the Harry in? Styles character from Don't Worry Darling. You can only make because I'm cool. One thing badly. I can do a cool dance. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's exactly why. <laughs> anyway, what's your go-to pancake recipe? Two eggs. <laughs> Just two eggs. Yeah, burrito filled with two straight, eggs. Straight into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, Just crack two eggs in your mouth. No, in the burrito. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's the wrapping? What What do you like for a wrapping? Just a regular burrito. You know when people use pita bread as a wrapping? No, no good. Unacceptable. Yeah. Do not do that. Don't do it. It's not a good wrapping bread. Mm-hmm. It's only good to make pita bread pizzas. I agree. Mason. I agree. Uh, what else? Oh, I don't know. Beans and cheese and whatever. All the standard All stuff. The standard sure. stuff. Yeah. Avocados. Okay. Hot sauce. You would. You put a pine. You put a pineapple in there, wouldn't you? 
Maybe. A whole pineapple. A whole pineapple, yes. Yeah, just the skin. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. Uh, what else have you got here, Basin? Oh, let's see. I've got one here if, you, okay, if go you're not it. ready. It's from David Cassidy. It says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. I just watched Dracula on top for the first time ever because I was tired of not being in on the jokes. Nice. I thought it was a bit of a disaster and did not do the Dracula thing very well at all. I wanted to ask what is your favourite vampire thing? Now, I haven't seen the original Nosferatu or the one where mm-hmm. Willem Dafoe plays the yeah. Nosferatu or whatever, but I do oh. want to watch that. Yes. But some of my favourites are Bram Stoker's Dracula, which my we talked goodness, about recently. Yeah. Um, I actually didn't mind the recent movie um, Day Shift with Jamie Foxx on Netflix. Okay, sure, so I was right. like, this is actually all right. Uh-huh. I don't mind Let the Right One In, mm. whichever version I watched. I can't remember which one I watched. Did you watch the American one. version? I can't remember. I watched okay. one of them. Maybe the <laughs> but, it, but it's one. in your top ten list. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just things that I've seen. Okay, right. Uh, I really liked the first two Blade movies. Yeah. I really, really liked 30 Days of 30 Night. 30 Days of Night, Incredible. Yeah. And I like the... Remake, but not the original Fright Night movie. Okay. The one with Anton Yelchin and, um, and Colin Farrell yeah, right. from like 2010 or 2011. Mm-hmm. I really like that one. Okay. What about you, Mason? What do you like? I like Count Chocula. Oh, yeah. What about Cereal. him? Does he drink blood or chocolate? Chocolate. Okay. Yeah. But blood sneakily. Oh, yeah, he's one yeah, of those. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I haven't had blood in ages, I swear. Yeah, that's right. I just I love Count Chocula. Yeah. Mm, I don't trust him. Yeah, you know. Is he a duck? That's Count Duckula. Oh, yeah. So he's a, he's a vampire. Count Duckula, yes, he is. Yes. This is this is no, I mean the Chocula, because this is just waiting for like a Jared from Subway reveal. You know, you hire a Dracula to promote oh, your cereal. It's he's not, a cartoon. Is that is he though? Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyway, go on. What were you going to say next? What's your next email? Oh, yeah. This is from Devon. Uh, hi, I'm, James and Mayso. It's been over a month since She Hulk blessed us with the. Uh, the greatest Avenger of all time, Mr. Immortal, yeah. the Great Lakes Avengers. Used to kill himself, yeah. And yet the world keeps spinning like nothing happened. Uh, there is clearly no God or hope for humanity. Anywho, it made me curious, what have been some of your favourite Marvel cameo characters? Oh, good question. Yeah, right? Marvel cameo characters. I'm trying to find if Count Chocolate is real. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. excited for Cosmo. Oh, the space the, dog. Who, yeah, who has yeah, been yeah, in yeah. the Guardians movies but uh, will be played by Maria Bakalova. Yeah, great question. So upcoming... Or whatever. Just things that we want. Yeah, yeah. I loved um, <sighs> I loved 1960s comic book uh, Loki from the TV series. That like, was R- good. Richard, Richard E. Grant, Grant as Loki. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was fun. Yeah. 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 Um, now I can't think of a single goddamn thing. What about the wizard, James? Who nah, was I don't Jessica care. Jones. Okay. I don't care about the wizard. Okay, wow, wow. He wow. wasn't even that wizard, was he? No, he was pretty wizzy. Mm, not in the end, though. He died. Yeah. <laughs> he got stomped or something. Okay, sure. I don't, I don't remember. No, I don't know. I don't have a single answer. Wow. Yeah. Do you have any more? Do I have any more examples? Yeah. Uh, Frog Thor. We saw Frog Thor. I know. Wait, are we naming things that are upcoming? No, we're, we naming want to see fav- think- we're naming our favourite Marvel cameo characters. Oh, I thought you said appeared. something upcoming stuff. No. And I'm like thinking of an example. No, you don't have to think of any, you don't have to come up with any new ideas, James. That's, great, not, that's not what this podcast is well, about. Well, I would have said all the ones that you said. But oh, that's great. in addition to that. Oh, wow. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You can't Google it. You're not allowed. I like, I mean, that Howard the Duck, when it was first revealed, yes. was crazy. It was crazy. It's yeah. not crazy now, but then it was then it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting they did go with like a, the more comic book accurate design and not just that horrible monster from the, <laughs> that movie they made in the 80s. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that's my example. That's okay. one that I that's like. That's a good one. I, I was disappointed with Taserface the look of. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. But I like the idea of putting in a taser mm, face. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's – in re- with, a, with the benefit of a, a bit of time and distance, how do you feel about the reintroduction of the kingpin in Hawkeye? We need more of that. Yeah, right. And not what they just did then. And he will be back. We've mm. talked about it. But yeah. but, yeah, it kind of felt a bit vague about what he was – about or could do. Yes. Yeah. Hawkeye's a steamroller. Hawkeye, like a lot of, you know, Marvel TV show stuff, is it was okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Would you say it was mid? No, not even. It was okay. just like, this is all right. All you right. Know? Great. It was all right. All right. All right. Nearly a year ago okay. or whatever. That's yeah. putting a more positive spin on mid, and I like it. Thank you. Well, I didn't say mid, Mason. That's true. I said better than mid. Anything else? Yeah. What is it? Oh, here's one from Daniel Wolf. Okay. How do I support Australian comedians? You can't. They're, it's not worth it. Oh, you could, no, no, no. You could, you could give them a gambling ad. Oh, yeah. That's not that's a true. bad idea. I was, somebody was saying the other day that, um, like, gambling companies have done more for Australian comedians than, like, any, <laughs> any you know, TV station that's or really true. anything. Oh, maybe um, Coles. 
Coles Maybe do Coles. that ad, you know, Rogan uh, was in it. That's true. Big fan writing to you from New York. I listen to a lot of Australian comedy podcasts and would love to hear some stand-up from them. Uh, from the likes of Michelle Brazier, Jess Perkins, etc., but I haven't found much online. Where can I yeah. find stand up from this crowd online? Willing to pay, of course. Yeah. So this is like a, a pre-built ad. Like it's, it feels. Is. It feels it like sounds a like setup. it's from Michelle Brazier. It might be and from Jess Michelle. Perkins yeah, yeah, yeah. themselves. It um, but it's Daniel though. Uh, that's, well, a different, that's, that's a different type of person. Case closed. But uh, obviously, if you go to sospresents.com, dot yeah. uh, there's a bunch of sort of one-hour shows from various. Yes. Comic sketch shows, stand up, all sorts of stuff. Our pal You'll Matt You'll find Stewart. some people in there. Yeah, if you just go to if you just go to YouTube, Matt Stewart yeah. has a recently put That's up right. a one hour comedy special, which is very good. But mm. I would say SOSpresents.com. Um I believe there's a bunch of stuff on it's gonna be some there's yeah, Stan, but Americans don't really get Stan. No, Paramount true. Plus, there's gonna be some stuff oh, coming good. out soon. Who in I particular? Think. Great question, James. I would have to look into it. You don't have to do that. Okay, thanks. But what you can do Go on. is say, is tell me whether there's any more letters or whether we wrap up the show. I think we should wrap up the show, James, because okay, there are no more letters. But, folks, thank you so much for listening to the podcast and telling your friends because that is pretty much how we get new listeners. There is no YouTube algorithm for podcasts. No. Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Mm. I don't know, really. Or you can leave a five-star review. We absolutely appreciate yeah. that. Also, James, you got any five-star reviews? Got a couple here, Mason. This is from TRCon97 who says, Best podcast for your money? I love these guys. I have an hour commute to a low-paying internship right now, but I love it because I get to listen to these guys on my way. My only complaint would be that they don't come out with six episodes a week so I could listen every time I have to drive to and from work. But if you, like me, want more content from these guys, you can head over to bigsandwich.co. Uh-oh. Actually, you're at bigsandwiches.co, but that's not true. And listen to some of the best content on the internet. Thank you so much. And that's a five-star review. You can just do in-app, whatever app you're listening to. This one's from a really, real big fan. Says the theme song. My God, what a theme. How many viewers have been lost of it? We might never know. I luckily listened on ign- ignoring mentions of buttholes and thankfully found my favorite podcast. If you're about to click off because of the theme song, don't. The cast is a great source of nerdy news and has two absolutely lovable friends goofing around five out of five stars. I I am getting rid of the theme song in the new year. This okay. is not a bit or a joke. Um, it is going. Love it when you do a bit I want, or a joke that I seems want like more it's not one. Corporate but then synergy. it's a big reveal. No, it's a, not a it's, it's a corporate synergy. I want more I want to reach a wider market share. Okay, all right. I all want right. one of those quotes where it's just like a monetize and optimization and it's about brand energy. I want to have one of those quotes. Monetized, optimized, big brand energy, <laughs> the weekly planet, the weekly planet. That would do better, okay, I feel right, like. Okay. People would be like, weird, but all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I recognize those words and they seem smart. So, all right. Folks, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet subreddit and Discord. Uh, if you want to follow some important people, you first of all, you can follow our great friend Rob Collings. Yeah. He's at Raw Collings on Twitter. He's at The Weekly Planet on Twitter. That's where you get all the Weekly Planet news. If you simply must follow some other people, you can follow us. I'm uh, Wikipedia Brown on Twitter and Nick Mesa on Instagram. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. Yes, Don't yes, forget yes. to vote for us in this thing we're desperately trying to game for yet another year. That'd be very exciting. It's not gaming if you just get the most votes and That's you win. true. If you believe in yourself... Yeah. If you're going to vote, believe in yourself and us. I agree. If you believe we're the best, if, if you believe we're the People's Choice podcast. And should, we are. And we, we definitely are. Yeah. Uh, folks, if you want to support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck or an amount you would not miss, whether that be uh, a, 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 a single thin dime yep. or a thousand million dollars. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. That'd be cool. That's right. I'll take it. Maybe you're somebody thousand. who squanders $44 billion on a, on a sinking social media and you're like, I got I got a couple more billion dollars. I'll give I'll give I these give, give these beautiful boys a couple billion dollars. That's we right. Wouldn't, we wouldn't turn it down. I'd love to know what the limit was, right? To give uh, through Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but if you're a big spender, an even big spender than that, that's right. If you want to spend nine US dollars per month, you can go to BigSandwich.co. Where we've got uh, bonus podcasts, early videos, ad free feed for the regular podcast, movie commentaries, all kinds of stuff. Having a great time over there. What is it this week? Something. Great question. Guy, I do have that. Let Ooh. me bring it up. It's something, and it will be. Wow. We're actually doing – oh, no. Well, we already recorded it. But we got we got this covered. It's a clickbait. Yeah. So we're, It is itself not clickbait. No. It's, it's, we both have a fun time yeah. looking at fun clickbait and having no, a fun time. No, one of time. us has a fun time and it's Mason. And it's he, me. He makes me endure clickbait and I do not it's like it. Me. But people seem to enjoy it, I guess, Mason. That's right.
All right. Anything uh, else? If you want to buy some T-shirts, you can go to tpublic.com oh. and search for The Weekly Planet. Or you can I mean, go to Kmart and get like a Kmart. pack of Bonds, like whatever, like yeah, a four-pack yeah, yeah, and whatever, yeah, yeah. and then you wear them twice and the neck stretches out when you pull them over your weird Yeah, see, head. the thing about Bonds T-shirts, I feel, James, yeah. is that they, they, they used to be made in Australia, which is why the prices were higher, but then they moved manufacturer offshore, but they kept the prices the same. And I think it's just branding more than anything else. That's, that's fucked. Kept. I know. I know. But I appreciate capitalism. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me and too. I love it. I love but you can buy a T-shirt anywhere, I but love, maybe go yeah, to tpublic.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love licking a big capitalist boot, Mason. <laughs> oh, yeah. Saying thank you. Oh, yeah. So he says from his iPhone. I do, Mason. He does. Says it from his iPhone. I'm having, I'm having an iPhone. Yeah, great. <laughs> I'll get a new one. I'll get two. I'll oh, my God. <laughs> you just smack them together. Smash them together. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That is what a rich guy would do. It sounds, and I, if I wanted to pretend I was a rich guy, I should do that. <laughs> so you're doing it for clout? Yeah. And you're putting it on TikTok? Yeah, maybe. What are you filming it with, Mason? I'd have to get a third iPhone. You'd have to get a third iPhone yeah, yeah, yeah. or a camcorder. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Camcorder. Yes. <laughs> all right. uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. And that is the whole show next week. Big time Black Panther Wakanda forever. God, I hope it's good Me and too. not bad. What if it was bad? I hope it's not. Uh-oh. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.